Alright, so sorry about that. Yeah, my power just went out for like 30 minutes, so... It means we gotta like do everything we just did. Um, in the... I think we played one day. Actually, while I'm thinking of it, that means I have to turn off the aging again. Um... Auto age sims, no. Right? Okay. I'm so glad that the power came back though. I did not know how I was gonna survive today without like a fan being able to go on. And of course. <laughs> Why? Why Nox? Oh wait. Can you extinguish yourself? What route to safety? Oh, okay. That's yep. Yeah, that's pretty much how this stream is going right now. <laughs> Brutal. Um, yeah, I feel like some people probably won't join back because they're gonna think this is a uh, messed up stream still. So let me try and uh, let me try and share. Put it on Twitter and stuff. Um, Still have rotting food everywhere too. <laughs> the sink is rebroken. Oh, it's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> I did see, however, that the last poll results before my uh, computer turned off were voting that we date somebody other than Jody. So Jody is now off the list. We're gonna have them break up. Um. Which is too bad. I actually did like Jody, besides from the hates children part. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We'll hopefully find somebody else that Nox is into. Ooh, okay. I guess his shower did not, or bath did not finish, so he's still looking a little crisp there. Let me clean up everything. Wow, your neighborhood eco footprint is green. That's interesting. When we just played a earlier before the stream crashed, we got it to neutral, and that took like thirty minutes. I don't know how we got to green so fast. That's not bad. At least they'll stop like choking every time they go outside now. Okay. And this one doesn't have a countdown for going bad, so I'm just gonna leave it out and let him get some sleep. In his tower, we can get up there. And then we can do something similar. As before, I'll do the yard sale stuff. I just try, I'll try not to focus too much on it for anybody who saw that earlier because I don't want to give too much deja vu, but there's a couple things we still got to do because now we actually have to be able to afford to replace our barbecue, which will be a couple hundred dollars on top of what we already have. Um, but let's get you out there. I might not even bother with the plants um, this time around. Wow, actually, I guess I should, because we want to get through all of them, too. Let's see. Yeah, can you just eat leftovers? Can everyone stop lighting their barbecue on fire? I think that happened last time I played with them, too. I saw some photos of Nox uh, on fire when I was looking back to try to remember what we were doing with this family. Okay. Load this bad boy up. What's this? Bottle of milk. 
Oh, it is going to spoil in 50 minutes. That's not good. Okay. Now you're eating. Nox, how are you doing? You're still sleepy. Okay, okay. So, this sink rebroke itself as well. But I will get her to can load up the paintings and then I'll get her to finish the one that she was currently working on. Oh yeah, we gotta look after spinach again. Let's get them all clean. And then we'll clean the shed. And we gotta harvest everything. Harvest all. Hey Sam, how you doing? pressure now to fix to get enough money to fix that barbecue oh, I also always forget that they have this little upstairs area I don't think I've had them sit up here once good became a grandma last weekend what that's so exciting congratulations that must be nice to have a little baby around too I mean if they're a baby I don't know <laughs> So what's happening with this one? This grapevine's not growing yet. Okay. Now. Uh, thanks, he's adorable. Yes, the baby. Okay, yeah. I was like, well, I guess you could have... I guess somebody in your family could have adopted, but... Cute. Should we have to be tending the table before we can mark up? Is that what the deal is here? Oh, you actually gotta eat though. And then you can come tend this. Let's put this in your inventory. It's 9 a.m. so I can get them started with at least the uh, paintings to sell. Because those are kind of where the big money's at anyway. Stock table, and then we'll get her to do the yard sale. My youngest is planning to adopt. Nice. Anytime soon, or still a while. Table. Markup prices. Let's do. I'm gonna try a hundred. Feeling bold. I'll do fifty for the paintings. Alright, Nox, how's it going, bud? I think you're ready to wake up. Oh, still well, they'll be... Oh, okay. <laughs> Just graduated a couple days ago, actually. Oh, nice. That's good. The lot is safer when he sleeps, it's true. The lot is safer when the barbecue's broken. I don't know if I should even bother getting a new one for them. It's a little bit rough. What's going on here? How are you? Um, I'm good. 
Actually, uh... Yeah, I, I started this stream for like 30 minutes, and then my power went out, so everything's gone. So I'm trying to like just get caught up to where I was before. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, feeling pretty good. I had like a nice weekend. I actually, yesterday I filmed a bunch of stuff for YouTube, which I've mostly just been doing streams recently, which have been really nice. I like enjoy streaming, but I have a bunch of stuff that uh, I wanted to do with recorded videos. And I made a deal with myself that if I get through my list of recorded videos that I want to do, that I'll let myself have the werewolves pack. Which obviously I could buy it at any time because I'm an adult <laughs> and all, but like I like to give myself like milestones to like earn like rewards like that for like new video games. It's because I have like so many video games anyway, but um, it was good. I got like four videos done yesterday. And I just got like a couple more and then I'll be able to like, give the werewolf stuff a try, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going, um, I have like somebody coming to visit me next weekend, which is nice. It's like Canada Day here, so it's a long weekend. So I'm going to go outside, enjoy some um, nature and everything like that. And then um, I'm going away for a week to hang out with one of my friends. So. A lot of stuff where I could actually take advantage of the summer, which will be good. Hoping the weather won't be like it is today, because it's like 32 degrees here, like Celsius. Um, but yeah. Um, that's genius if you stick to it. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like sometimes I'm like, you know when like you're the person giving out the rewards, you know you can just like buy it anyway, but I'm usually like pretty good. So it's the same way I convince myself to like Go grocery shopping. I'll be like, oh, if you go grocery shopping, you can get like a bubble tea at the corner store on the way home and like stuff like that, where I'm like, wow, this is me parenting myself. <laughs> um, but also, Sam, have you gotten the new werewolves pack? I don't think I've seen you play with it, if you have. Um, but I was also away for two weeks before this, so I might have missed, might have missed some stuff going on on the streaming front. This social is pretty brutal. Should we meet some of these people? Like, do we... are these candidates for you for dating? Also can't remember if we actually fixed his settings last time. Well, no, he's attracted to Jody, so he should be at least bisexual. And we know a ghost. So, yeah, he's perceived as attractive. So that's good. He knows an interesting collection of people. Alright. What's it going over here? Oh, we have enough for the new uh, barbecue. Let me get that right away. Because the plan is tonight. Here, let's get Nox. You can actually make food that's like a salad. Can you do that, bud? I mean, I should do like a little garden salad, maybe. Nothing with fire involved. Um, but yeah, I can send him out tonight and we can go to the club and try and see if we can find, uh, somebody. Somebody for him to date. See who he's into. Um, oh, Jody wants to know if he can go over to... Ooh. I'm gonna say no, because we gotta finish this yard sale. But maybe we can... I don't know, we gotta break up with Jody, too. I guess it makes sense you'd avoid seeing him for now if he's thinking about breaking up. Um, I do. I had the family visiting this past week, so I haven't streamed. I'm thinking of taking a crack at recording an LP. Nice. Are you doing a theme with it for the werewolves, or are you just gonna do like straight up just werewolves playthrough, or are you gonna do like the rags to riches combo or something like that? Hey, you're getting hungry, eh? Oh, there's not even a yard sale happening right now. Do that again. I'll pay more attention for when that ends. <laughs> this man can't even like throw something up in the air without breaking it while cooking a salad. And he thinks he can cook some uh, barbecue every single day. <laughs> Rough. Oh, I think he's sick too. That's rough. But somebody has medicine, I think. Usually in my household, somebody is stockpiling it. Maybe nobody... Oh yeah, you got some. Or Nox. 
You gotta go to the club tonight. You can't be sick. That helps immediately. Yeah. Okay. So that's when my sim takes the medicine. It'll say that they're better, but then they still get some symptoms for a while after. So I hope he doesn't have any symptoms while we're at the club. How are you doing? You want to buy some paintings and some produce? Just considering it. Let me uh, can you give them a sales pitch? Oh, they're out of here. Oh no. Um, I've been working on a safe for it. I'm going to do rotational play with the three occults. Nice. So you're gonna do spellcaster, werewolf, and uh, vampire. Wow, I had to think for that last one. I really do hope that they do some sort of like, uh, I don't know if refresh is the right word, but like update to uh, add like a skill tree and stuff to mermaids so they can feel, feel like another occult. That'd be fun. Aliens at least I feel like have a bit more to them, but uh, mermaids I feel like are lacking. Did this person go up here to watch TV? <laughs> Nice. Nothing like laying in somebody's bed to watch television. Brutal. Um, Vamp Boy falls for Sim Girl who later gets bit by a werewolf. Starcross lovers? Will they work it out? Gotta watch the videos to find out. <laughs> but nice, I like that story. I also appreciate that they just come out here standing near the tables, but then talking to each other. <laughs> Raymond, what's up? Are you gonna buy some stuff? He's thinking about it. Your last name is Bloom. I feel like you have an obligation to buy some flowers or something. Oh, $82 for a mushroom. Nice. Blossom has learned that Lai's? Oh sure. Lai's pronouns are she, her. Cute. I have um I have a mod in where they'll autonomously ask each other pronouns. Which is kind of fun. Um so that's not part of the update, the heads up. That's a mod. <laughs> nice, Jeffrey! Clean up my paintings, thank you. Okay, I hear you. You're hungry. You gotta pee. I'll let you go. Then you gotta come back to the table, alright? Then you gotta give your wife a break. Well, maybe. If uh, Marlin over here takes this last painting, it'd be very helpful. Oh. One more yard sale, I think. We're at 1,492. And then, um, I'm hoping around 7, I noticed that it's 7 o'clock, <laughs> and we can uh, take uh, Nox out to check out what's happening in here, buddy. You've been standing in the bathroom for like three hours. <laughs> okay. Also got him, I saw he had a bunch of food stuff in his inventory. Oh, how did he get sage and green beans? Oh, I think those are in the household inventory, actually. I'm not gonna recycle those, we're just gonna sell them. I used mods so I had no idea what's game and what's not. I know, I gotta like... I feel like whenever I... So whenever I do like a, a video about mods or whatever, where I, I'm trying to look at one of the new updates, I always... I always, um... What should I say? Oh, I always get rid of the other mods, and then I'm like, oh, interesting. That thing that I want to do right now is from a mod. This whole time I thought that was like a game function. I can't believe that we don't have this function in the game. Let's see if I can... 
go. Don't know why there's this in our inventory. Let's open an athletic poster. Again, not sure how we got that. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't hate the idea of them having another extra salad for the fridge in hopes that it stops them from cooking so much. Oh, nice. Okay, we're done. I think that was it. That was all our paintings. Draw 266.7. Wait, 2,667? So I said? I don't know. Alright, right, stop talking to the customers. Jeffrey's back at it. Alright, come on. Sell some overpriced, organic, locally sourced produce to these rich people. Hello, what's up? Hey, Angela. Not a whole lot. Just trying to um, get through this yard sale so we can afford a spa day for Mary and Blossom, as well as a club night for Knox so that he can go find a new partner. How are you doing? Also, Nox has been take, acting very weird since he had that medicine. He just stands places. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Um, also, I'm going to save. If you missed it, my power went out earlier. So now I'm kind of scared it's going to happen again. I'm just going to save so I don't have to redo this whole um, yard sale thing all over again. For the third time. Wait. Yeah, third time. Okay. Hit seven. Let's go. Let's hit the club. He needs social as well, which is kind of perfect. Um, we can go. I feel like we would go to a bar first at 7. We get some drinks, take a look. Oh my gosh, I've never been to the bar in Evergreen Harbor. Let me go there. Or have I? Yeah, let's go here. Doing good, decluttering today. <laughs> the Greenbergs deserve that spa day. That's what I'm thinking. This might be the last time we play as the Greenberg family. As we know them, because I think Mary, I think it's Mary's going to pass away first, and it looks like she's going to pass away before we get to play her next rotation. Blossom might still be around, but I'm also not sure about that. So, yeah, I kind of want to, like, treat them before, before it's the time. Wow, it's uh, really popping off in here. We got somebody with a headache complaining about the music. <laughs> Holly Alto. I like this outfit on Holly. Looks great. Let's get a drink. What's your favorite drink? Oh, he's already gonna try and chat with Holly. Bold of you. Alright, get in there. Let's go a little faster. What? Kubara Zakuni. Lord Rinka. Should Knox go for a celebrity? <laughs> She's clearly very much enjoying this conversation. I think it's the music she didn't like though. Oh, I can't even change it. She's like yelling about herself, okay. Talk about eco lifestyle. <laughs> you think a celebrity would be okay with his lifestyle? See, and that's the other thing. I was thinking about putting him in like a tiny home too. So I don't know if Holly would adjust well to that. Holly in The Sims 3 would probably be into it, but I think Holly in The Sims 4 is not. And she's so cranky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we tried. We're getting more people in here, though. Oh my gosh, Jody's here. Oh no. <laughs> we were here to try and find somebody else to date, and now Jody showed up. It's a little bit awkward. See. Holly is blonde now. Yeah, actually, I think it's just in this save file. I um, I wanted to give her like more of a hairstyle. I think 
we were debating if Caleb should go for her. And then I was like, okay, in my brain, she didn't look like Holly Alto from The Sims 3, so I was like, I'm just gonna change her here. Um, I actually didn't even remember that until I saw her, though, because I had no idea who she was when we walked in, but... Um, I much prefer it, because I don't like the hair style they give her in this one. So where's your scope surroundings, my guy? There we go. Yeah, let's see. Also, what was your favorite drink? Did you order it? <laughs> All right. Wow. He is into a lot of people here. That was everybody. <laughs> Even this person. He's literally interested in every single sim here. Nox, I think you might need to like raise your standards a bit. Because <laughs> this is gonna be uh, interesting. We're gonna try and figure out who to set you up with. Okay, well, just attractive. I was hoping they'd be like a very attractive or like a. I forget which one it is. Where they're like super into people. <laughs> By icon Nox, yeah, he's uh. doesn't discriminate that way. <laughs> He's like really into talking to Holly though. I'm surprised that he's been talking to her through this whole thing. Ask him about her day. Let's see if he likes Siobhan actually. Oh, I think she's trying to leave. I'm partial to like my. I like it when the Sims, they're like pre maids, date other pre maids opposed to like random townies. Which I know like Jody was an exception to me because like, I don't know. He was just general. I forgot he was an alien too. I was like, wait, why is this man glowing? Um, is this your drink, bud? Okay, your favorite one is Tang and Zing. Alright. Why not? Hey, what do you think of Siobhan? Very attractive. Okay. I don't know. Did we see them together? I forget all of her traits, actually. Um, let's see. Get to know. And people are just losing their minds about Holly right now. Because she's ambitious. We can work with that. Ambitious is fine. Just waiting for her, like, I hate kids as well thing to come up. We don't talk about fertility. That might be a bad move right now. Talk about the windy weather. We're only on over here, too. Holly's really into us. Like, she's still talking to Nox. Let's do a, Let's just ask with her traits. I always forget. Yeah. I'm kind of interested in Holly because I've never played with her before in The Sims 4. It's perfectionist. Okay. Oh, but it's already 11. Okay, we're supposed to be going to the club. Let's head over. Where am I going? Newcrest. I'm gonna try to try it. Okay, now I can see how my club turned out. Should we bring Holly with us? Do we bring women with us to the drag bar? And we'll just we'll just see who's there. Hey Eric, how are you doing? I'm trying to currently trying to find a, a new date for Knox. I liked him and Jody, but the fact that he didn't like kids made it so that it was kind of difficult for me to have uh, Mary and Blossom meet their grandkids. So ideally, we're going to move real fast with whoever he finds and end up with grandkids. 
I also actually, Eric, I tried um on this mod. I tried to get that mod you were talking about. I don't know if I did it right or not, but um, what was it called? It's the this one, maybe. I don't know if I did it right because there's this, and then I think there was another option too. There was like that or lot owner and place. Okay, well, no, I probably did it right then because we don't want to be the lot owner of this, but trying to do this so that um, the bars would fill up. But I'm going to see how this lot's like playing out. Whoa, who just teleported over here? <laughs> A vampire looking stylish with that hat. It's looking real empty in here. I'm wondering if it's going to populate properly. This person just watching TV alone in the the VIP section. Nice. Oh, oh you got to click on the door now. The front door, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. So allow... We... I guess I can do the massage therapist. Wait, massage therapist? Do I need a massage table for that, though? Oh, yeah, comedy. Wow. DJ. I'm just gonna do everything and see what happens. Okay, we got people dancing back here. That's a good sign. Got some experimental sounding music though. Oh my gosh, wait. Is this? It's Tate. Look at him. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Shows up with his rolled up jeans and his like leather boots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So cute. Talk about eco lifestyle with Candy. Candy's just trying to get down on the dance floor. And Knox is like, "Have you considered recycling?" That's cute. Uh, massage therapist also do your nails, I think. Uh, okay, so that'll be like the. What are those usually called like Cosma? Oh yeah, massage chair attendant. So we can massage. Mm. Cool. Okay, so the DJ's coming up here too. We're missing a bartender for there. Oh, we got a comedian up here. Yeah, this isn't bad. Okay, let's see. He's gonna be into Layla. I can already call it. Oh, she left. Shot a contender. Um, you only need to allow for extra stuff, so if you have two DJ booths, two bars, etc. Okay, okay. Alright, who else are you into? Oh! You're into Joaquin. And Simeon. I like Simeon as like a... A romantic. For my game. Like, I think they give those vibes, personally, but... Let's see. You, I don't think... He actually wasn't even into candy there. Let's see. What's happening? No, don't leave! Talk about eco lifestyle. Stop him, Knox. Get him. No, he's out. He's gone. You missed your chance. Um, it's too bad you couldn't customize so the comedian showed up as a drag queen. Maybe if you added some into the game in that career, or if you hire them. Um, oh, manually? That's what that word is. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm actually gonna. My drag queens are gonna be a club that hang out at this venue so i'm hoping that if we do that then the club will show up and they'll be in their drag and then we can make the activities being performing and stuff and then they'll do it autonomously i'm just i'm actually making the drag queens tomorrow i haven't done it yet i'm gonna do it on twitch tomorrow for a stream and then because i'm hoping also i don't know how this works let me see if i can test it thinking like if we modify the club outfits, does that mean all my drag queens are going to dress the same though? But I think like that's probably the best way to make sure they show up in drag. But that'll be hard because I wanted to have a mix of drag kings and drag queens. Um, so I might just have to, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a workaround for that. Because we are making Johnny Zest into a drag queen. Morgan Ember, I think, was going to be a drag king. And same with Mi Miko Ojo, I think says. So. That's their name. She's in like the karaoke legends house. Um, but yeah, that was the goal. 
Man, I wish more Sims would show up here. Need more variety. It's two in the morning though. And I don't even think he met Joaquin. So his only prospects right now are Siobhan and Holly. Holly could be kind of fun. I don't know how else I'd end up playing with a celebrity in this. Okay, let's use the washer down here. And then we probably head out. Well, I how Eric Lewis continues to be a bartender in my game. He was the bartender at the lounge that we went to with Caleb as well. Otherwise, I think these are all random townies, eh? Yep, just downstairs using the bathroom. Oh yeah, I wanted to play test this too. Can we take photos? Oh yeah. Take a group photo of adults. I don't know why he would take a photo with any of these people that he doesn't know, but... Does this mean that... Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> He's a teenager, it feels kind of weird. Does this mean that he takes the photo? But he won't be in the photo. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for playtesting this for me. Oh, please don't look so flirty at that teenager right now. That was a bit much, Al. On that note, I think it's time to head home. I think he's trying to sleep. Yeah, he's trying to take a nap on the couches upstairs. But that'll be good. Then we can take photos of the drag queens or with the drag queens in the basement. I'm hoping his moms are taking care of themselves so they're actually rested and we can go take them to the spa tomorrow. This is like a really bad comment, to be honest, as a heads up. But like, knowing that Mary and Blossom are going to pass away soon feels like, you know when you like have to like put an animal down? So you like let them like eat whatever they want and like, you know, eat all the human food and like live their best life. In this case, apparently it's barbecuing, even though your fridge is full of food. <laughs> That's how I feel about them right now. I'm like, I want to take them out to the spa, enjoy a nice relaxing day, like do the most with them, because this might be the last stream with them both alive. <laughs> People have said worse things about Sims, don't worry. OK, OK. I mean, yeah, I don't want to be uh, triggering, if you will, to somebody, but <laughs> How I feel, man. Oh, you're back. What did I miss? Okay, I I pretty much what I did was caught up the same way in terms of doing the yard sale. You missed a fire that happened this time around, though, so we had to replace the barbecue. And Knox just got back from the club, and apparently that means that Mary made some burgers for him to come eat after coming going out to the club. We haven't broken up with Jody yet. But while he was just out at the club, he was interested in Siobhan and he was also interested in Holly Alto, who I don't know all of her traits. We know she's a perfectionist and she's attractive, whereas Siobhan, on the other hand, is ambitious and very attractive. So, yeah, I think extremely attractive might be the top one, which I like it when we find Sims like that, um, because he was actually into a lot of people in the club. Um, oh god, yeah, the eugenics conversation with The Sims is rough. Yep. <laughs> um, if people can remove ladders and make them try to escape from a killer in a basement, this is nothing. <laughs> yeah, me trying to give them like a last good day. It's probably uh, not as controversial as I, as I thought it was <laughs> compared to some other stuff that people do. Oh, I don't know what. Okay, she was just cleaning up. That's good. Put all this food in the fridge. She made burgers, green burgers. <laughs> should, is that what I should have done with them? I should have. Oh my gosh, is that what we should do with Knox? 
he has to go into the he wants to go into the eco whatever the heck career because of his aspiration but i'm thinking he opens a food truck called green burgers kind of like bob's burgers i guess we could also just make them all veggie burgers can you make does anybody know has anybody ever used those um those crickets that are i don't know if they're crickets I just assumed that they were crickets. The bugs in this that you can eat? Can you make a bunch of food with them? Or is it like they only eat the crickets? Because I actually would be kind of into the fact if he could just make only burgers with like crickets. Which I feel like if I do that though, it'd make me have to, I'd have to make it more like a bakery where they like sell the food that's already prepared opposed to a restaurant. Um, I don't even know how to search. I'll just type bug and it'll come up. Stink bug? What? There's stink bugs in this? Oh, I think my better build buy is like messed up. I was hoping I fixed it, but it tends to, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. I gotta like try and fix this again, but it should be fine because this is not a, is it under or activities or something? Um, with the crickets, I know you could make popcorn. <laughs> we could do that. Um, I'm assuming it's outdoor activities, okay. Let's just like, I'm surprised they don't already have one of these. Isn't it in the trailer with him having these? Let's just like drop it down and see what happens. Do a little testing today. Uh, there's one recipe for each, I think. Okay. So then I wonder if we do that one recipe for each, if it lets us put that recipe on the menu for a restaurant and only those recipes. Or like maybe I'll need those and then also uh Oh. Interesting. Oh you can do crick I've never looked at this. I'm telling you right now. I thought I had, but now that I don't recognize any of this. Okay, cricket, flower, popcorn, grub, meal, bombardier, beetle, nuggets. <laughs> okay, wait, so cricket makes flour? Flour and pop grub. What the Okay, we'll see. He can do that in a minute. All right, ladies, how you doing? It's seven in the morning. You're both awake. Classic old people styles. Um, let me see. Yeah, Mary's not gonna. I'm pretty sure Mary's not gonna make it past this stream. So I would love it if we could get Knox to have like a quick kid with somebody. I want him to adopt, no matter what his situation is with his partner. Um, but yeah, I would love if I could do some, a little bit of interactions with grandmas here before it's too late. It's just a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on you, Knox. <laughs> Knowing Knox, the food would be burnt half the time. For real, it'll be fully on fire. <laughs> He's getting better at cooking, though. Um, with the grubs, you can make mealworm dogs on the grill. Oh, that makes my skin crawl. But it's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> just still, it's just as me out. All right, is this spot open? Let's go. 7 a.m. Um, where did I put a new press? Oh, we could go to the, okay, let's check out the, the bookshop too, which is actually just a cafe. We can get like our coffee early in the morning. <laughs> I wonder if you should name the kid Phoenix in honor of his constant fire accidents. Yo, I love that name. That's it. That's the one. I'm writing it down. Phoenix Greenberg. It's gonna be good. All right, we're here. I don't think I need any. I don't know. I'm assuming that a DJ will show up here. Wow, Marlin, my guy. If you hate the table that much, go somewhere else. <laughs> um, but wait, what's happening? Okay. Here we go. A rainy, awful day. Vobe Pinella. 
What's happening here? Are you gonna... Where is she going? Where is Mila even? She's like way over there. Can you hang out with your wife instead? I don't think you need to talk to Mila. That's a... Order... I think just drinks will be fine. Yeah, order... I don't know, I don't drink coffee. Barista's recommendation. Perfect. You too. I could see these like cute elder lesbians just going up to the queer barista being like just give me whatever you want sweetie <laughs> like, and it'll be something without milk for sure um too bad we didn't have the pyromaniac trait too oh yeah should I see if that's uh one of them I'll tell you what my plan was before. I was bagging it before because I didn't want to influence the poll when it was happening. So we had a poll before with the potential of Nox staying with Jody, who dislikes kids. Um, so, like, this is Jody. I was going to open up his panel, but it doesn't let me because Nox is in here. But I was, because he doesn't like kids, I was going to have them adopt a teenager instead. So, in my mind, the perfect teenager for that was actually going to be Max Villarreal. If you don't know Max, he's kind of like a little terror, <laughs> but um, he only has like a dad right now, and then his dad's also an elder, so then he would have like aged out as well. He has two siblings, but in my mind, like the siblings would not be able to handle Max because he's like a little, you know, hard to work with. So I would have had him have Nox as a dad and then change it in cast so that he registers Nox as a dad while keeping his original dad. Um, and, and his siblings in that sense as well. Um, but yeah, that was the plan in case uh, things would, in case we gotta keep Jody around. Because then I thought, like, yeah, I don't know, that just made sense in my head. Um, but now that he's gonna find somebody else, we'll adopt like a baby or a toddler. Or, wow, I did not paint this wall. Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's the wall next door. <laughs> I thought she was getting mad because I didn't paint the wall across here. I should still paint over there, though. I didn't anticipate seeing inside of this empty building I made. Same back here. Let me do that real quick. Um, let's do this. And then I think the upstairs will probably need it too, then. Well, I don't think I'll see the upstairs. Um, yeah, I finished this build, and then... But it's not finished finished because I want to do like a little rooftop potty, patio area for a club. I don't know what club yet. I thought like I realized that I have a teenage club that Tane and Olivia are part or not Olivia, Olive are a part of. So maybe they could like have this as their hangout like above the queer um, cafe. That'd be kind of cute. And then we could just like customize it up here based on like what I want them to do together. Um, but ideally when it's not raining, we'd leave it like open like this so it could be like a, a little greenery thing. Um, but yeah, not focus on that today. Um, I wonder if they adopted Knox when he was a kid or he just he's just some dude who rolled up a few weeks later and asked to live here. Honestly, he just showed up talking to them about the eco lifestyle and they were like, uh, is this guy ever going to leave? <laughs> but that's the thing with the, the lore behind this couple was that they kind of just like take in anybody to their family. So I picture Knox being like, a teenager when they were adopted and like that he was also queer whoa who is this sim showing up ripped with like lots of uh rings on he looks like this, this looks like the worst type of gay <laughs> like in his like leather like snakeskin pants too he looks like he's here to break some hearts um also what is his name H? I don't know how you'd say that. Pack? H? Don't know. Kind of into it. Let's go introduce ourselves. Maybe he was a runaway. Yeah, that's Eric. I think that Knox was a runaway for sure. Um, I love that you could unlock a pyromanic trait by wooing a firefighter Sims 3. <gasps> what? Is that how you unlock that? I don't think I knew that. I thought that that was just like in The Sims 3. I wish they had that as a thing when they brought over the firefighters in The Sims 4, but I found that they don't do anything anyway. Yeah, that's too bad. 
So why do people keep dropping tablets over here? <laughs> Is that like, like, I think that was a hint that I need a coffee table or something. Let's do that. I'm just going to like actively work on these builds a little bit as, uh, as time goes on. And I will take the hint here. I don't know. It's like a good, on like less intrusive coffee table, perhaps. Maybe it's like one of these. If this will fit. Great. <laughs> Sometimes they dance erotically. Isn't that why you call firefighters? Because they're actually just strippers? <laughs> Sometimes I'll do it even though you're the one who put out the fire. They're like, well, you got this handled. Here's your reward. A free dance. Um, oh, y'all are ordering food even though you're not hungry at all? H, like the letter if you pronounce it the British way. That's so funny. I used to like, one of the jobs that I had like six years ago, the person that I uh, would sit next to at the office was Australian. And her name started with an H. So she would say, I don't know. I don't know why that meant she would say H a lot. But every time she did, I'd be like, hey, hey, hey. It just sounds funny to me. Like, it sounds like it's like, I don't know. H sounds like a letter to me. H sounds like a big word. For literally no good reason, but do you want to hang out tonight? No, Layla, I don't. We're going. We're going. It's not even nighttime. First of all, it's eleven. I would love to hang out in the evening with you, but interesting to see who shows up to the queer cafe, Mortimer. I mean, L. I've already said it before. Gives strong bisexual vibes, and these this townie wearing double flannel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get it, buddy. <laughs> nice. When you're going to the queer cafe and you don't know if one flannel's enough to let them know that you like men, <laughs> so you tie another one around your waist. Very cute. Alright, time for the cafe. Now it's noon, a more reasonable time, probably, to head over there. Uh, Mortimer is a yes for me. He's always buying my games. Really? Interesting. Do you ever have him date anybody besides Bella? Or is he just a uh, uh, married bisexual? Like a monogamous married bisexual, I should say. Also, y'all watch the, uh, I don't know what to call it, that like Sims movie that uh, Remy made? It's on YouTube. Um, I'll probably share it later in the week. Um, on my like post thing, it was wild. It's like all about Bella and Mortimer, kind of. But it's like all sci-fi. It's like a really cool. It's like an hour and a half. I finally finished it last night. Um, it took me forever. Like, there's it's broken up into parts, so like, I kept coming back to it in parts. Um, all right, a mind concentrating yoga class begins in 30 minutes. Ooh, I've not done yoga yet. Where is yoga? Over here. Let's enroll. Join. 110 dollars. Well, thank goodness we had those yard sales. Um, all the time. Okay, Mortimer. Uh, Mortimer is in love with Bella. He would never stray. Uh oh. Screw Bella. Lol. I don't care about her. Oof. What? Well, explain yourselves. You usually, I tell his story before her, and she's always involved somehow. Interesting. I've never, like, besides that uh, gay agenda video, I've never broken up Mortimer and Bella, personally. Also, related to that, thoughts on the re- the redo? I don't know how you call that. The refresh of Mortimer and Bella? I liked the Bella refresh. I don't like the Alexander one, but he's cute. So I wish that maybe they just had a third kid. I just, like, to me, Alexander's, like, a pale nerd. And he looks like far too cute now, in my opinion. But uh, Cassandra looks good. She looks more like a teenager too, I like. Though I wish that they would keep her like, I, I like to keep Cassandra very awkward looking. Like no fashion sense whatsoever. Um, like my Twitter story right now, he's a teen, a spellcaster, and bi. He's currently interested in alien character, but has an arrangement by his parents to Bella. Oh, 
I think I missed that. Maybe I missed the fact that that was Mortimer. Because I've been seeing your occult one on Twitter. Um, I like Bella and Cassandra. Nice. I've also told the story where Bella is FTN named Bo. <laughs> also, that makes me think of Bo Broke. That's so funny. <laughs> Um, actually, somebody commented on one of my videos recently saying that they, they see, I think Cassandra is um, M to F, like trans, trans feminine, which I'm like, all right, yeah, I can see that. I can see those vibes. I guess you didn't see Alex as a teen. Yeah, I know people on Twitter were like freaking out about the the refreshed Alex, like grows in, grows up and then looks like completely different. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, not Mary falling asleep during the yoga. I was just surprised that, uh, yeah, that Alexander, when he ages up, I'm like, is that Mortimer's kid? Like, are we sure? Are we sure that that kid is related to everyone else? But like, people don't look like their parents all the time, so I guess that's fine. I personally will be keeping in this save file the Alexander that we have because he turned into oh. like like a buzz grunt knockoff and i really love that for him he's given strong himbo energy oh i've done them as swingers a hundred percent i could see the goths as swingers i could also see them as like the bisexual couple that saw you from across the room and likes your vibe i could definitely see that like because they're very like pd in my mind they're like very pda heavy couple and like those are the couples that i also assume we're like looking for a third party if you will <laughs> it would have cost zero dollars from the go into cast and tweak the chin but that's what you think lucy but you know people got paid a lot of money <laughs> to make that refresh it took a very long time um okay we're done with this let's go do can we like what's happening i'll brain boosting yoga but i want to do massages oh this is very laggy right now. Oh, is it because they did a switch over? Awkward timing? Okay, let's do Manny Petties instead then. Let's do. Ooh, we can do a foot massage. From. Yeah, just do this right there. That's fine. And then I feel like we can do the hand stuff with. Uh, that sounds really wrong. We can do the hand stuff with Blossom though. <laughs> you know and footstep. Wait, which one of you wears sandals? I feel like one of you wears sandals, right? This is an awkward encounter. Oh, Fitch Repair. Which one is it? Cow competition. Useless to us. Well, I'll never know. I feel like I chose the wrong one, though. I think that I think Blossom wears the sandals, and I oh yeah, because Mary wears slippers. Okay, wait, wait. Let me fix this up. So, foot, you. Okay, request foot massage. I don't know where the dudes went though. I think um, the problem is that Layla's trying to get in on this, but we're not having it. Hello, uh, Vibru, how you doing? Um, I love Bella and Mortimer, but also I don't care that much about the lower, so at the same time, I don't mind disrupting it either. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like The Sims 4 especially. It's like, do whatever you want at this point. There's no consequences. There's no memories of them, like, having a loving relationship with somebody before that. Next week, like, I'm sure Bella will forget even who Mortimer is, so... What's happening right now? I really messed this one up, I think. I think they're all... Very confused about what's supposed to be happening. Um, Ekrom Elderberry is my favorite grouchy old man. Oh, is this the dude from uh, Discovery University? Also, I went to try and use. I was trying to test out the high school mod. There's like a get to school mod. It's like a it's a it's a like a fake pack or whatever, and it's no longer available. But I've seen so many YouTubers use it, and I was like, oh, okay, I want to use this for um, my next transgender challenge. Let me give it a little shot in case, like, this new expansion pack being high school is not real or whatever. Um, but they had taken it down. Or, like, at least I couldn't find it. There's, like, the link for it. I click it, and then it's like, this has been removed, which is too bad. 
So now I'm actually hoping that there's gonna be a high school. Oh God, <laughs> it's an aggressive hand massage. Now I'm hoping that there is gonna be a high school pack because I really wanna do some high school gameplay for that let's play. Whoa, Bella is my least favorite goth. I'm a Mortimer, Alex, and Cassandra st uh, stan. What? You could have uh, Agnes Crumplebottom as your favorite goth. Pretty sure. Well, I don't know actually how that works. I know that they're related because that's is that, her, is that um I guess she's not a goth because I think he's I think she's on uh, Mortimer's mom's side. My mistake. I take that back. Oh wait, wait. I keep getting this messed up. You need the pedicure. Pedicure. I guess. Uh, you need a manicure. Because we can't see your wife's feet. Okay. Also, they are so tired for 5 p.m. And we already had coffee, so I don't know what to do for you. Alright, I wish I could remember what your main outfit is. I think you have a yellow shirt, so maybe you like yellow nail polish. Um... Okay, why do you dislike Bella? I'm not... It's not personal, I just don't get the hype around her. Ooh, probably because I never played the previous games. Oh! Yeah, that would make sense. I think in The Sims 4, I wouldn't have even noticed the goth family at all. And then in The Sims 3, because they're kids, you have no idea like what their deal is, I would say. Um, ooh. Wait, are you getting a manicure? I thought you were getting a pedicure. No. She's getting the pedicure. Wow, I'm so confused for no reason. Let's see how that matches your hair, though. Um, hey, I don't have a favorite goth. Fair enough. Hey, Emily, how you doing? Um, I've been playing since uh, since for 20 years, and I've been in love with both Mel uh, Bella and Morty. I said Mella by accident. Um, I just love the Adams Family vibes. Yeah, it's good. I think my obsession with Bella, my obsession with Bella, only started um, when I actually found her in Stranger. Oh, I always get this wrong. Strange Town, Strangerville, whichever one's in The Sims 2. When I found her walking around, I was like, "Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, she's actually here!" <laughs> and then from then, I was like obsessed. I was obsessed. I also like, I kind of like broke my game by accident because you, you essentially like in The Sims 2, you can't like. The worlds are completely separate save files. Like The Sims 3 is like that. But you can find the Sims in The Sims 2 Strangerville thing. You can find. Is this Strange Town? Whatever. You can find the the Bella there, but she doesn't have any recollection of Mortimer. So I found her, got my Sim to like befriend her so she'd move in. Then I imported that family into Pleasant View, thinking that like the game would register and that it'd be like, wow, bro, you cracked the code. Now Bella's back with her family. But really, Mortimer was like, who is this woman? I have no idea who this was. And then like, even if you get them remarried, it shows like two Bellas in the family tree and stuff. So yeah, that was rough. Oh yeah, I found her too and reuniting her with her family. I'm fully excited for something to happen, but nothing did. Exactly! Like, that was like... I understand also that was like years ago, but like... If you play any other video game besides The Sims, like, that's a very realistic thing for it to like... Even like, if they added like a special interaction with Bella, like if you got her up to like max friendship or something, and you could do something like... Like, send back just to Pleasant View, that'd be sick. But I know, like, the save files aren't actually connected, so it's all messed up. Either way, whatever. It would have been fine. If they do another remaster of The Sims 2, I got some ideas up in here. Let's say, yeah, that's probably the only idea I have. <laughs> um, but let's pretend there's multiple. Um, Sims 4 was my first Sims game, too. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that really influences how you feel about the townies. Whoa, I did not realize I gave her such long nails. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I don't know. The, before my game crashed earlier today, they had the want for first woohoo. I don't know why she's thinking getting nails like that. I don't think her wife's going to be into it. <laughs> um, let's get you. I think we can't do joint massages unless you can do a... I only ever get like Swedish massages, bleh, Swedish massages in real life, but let's try a, one of these. You can just use this person. Oh my gosh, you're so tired. I'm so sorry about that. 
Um, as a new player who's uh, only been the franchise since 2019, I appreciate the lore and I, I love a lot of it, but I'm, fuss I'm not fussed that much about the characters or have that same connection with them. Yeah, that's real. Also, I can imagine it must be very hard if you're even interested to go back to The Sims 2 at this stage. Like, it must be very hard because like to me, the graphics and the mechanics and everything, I'm like, oh, nostalgia. And that's really what motivates me to play. But if you don't have nostalgia for that game, I can imagine you might be like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to do this. Also, wait, what? Nox is here. <laughs> I didn't know that they just randomly like showed up like that. OK, well, let's try and get, you know, a Swedish massage. Yeah, Swedish massage. I can't say that. But Nox, what are you doing here? You just here relaxing with Tina Tinker? <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. I didn't know y'all were friends. You don't even know each other. Still intro. I just thought you had a vendetta against <laughs> Bella for some reason. I wanted the gossip. That's funny. I guess when you're in love, every time feels like the first time. Stop it, Lucy. It's too cheesy. Oh no, I actually really like Bella, but when it comes to their family, I just prefer Mortimer. But again, he's more about his family. Name, Gunther, Victor, uh, Timaeus, Frida, Cornelia, love them all. Yo, Cornelia Goth in uh, Sims 3 was one of my faves, and Gunther in that one too. Gunther is like a much more boring in The Sims 2, or at least boring looking. He's not even really in it, but. Oh, she ended up getting a massage in a different room from her wife. That sucks. Also, I was hoping that she'd fall asleep here. <gasps> I didn't know she had a tattoo. Wow, learning new things about her. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all watch. Why well, I think I'm pretty sure Lucy watches Dr. Glue on. But now every time I see this like massage interaction, I can hear Dr. Glue on in my head say rubber, 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 tapa, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> it's like it just plays for free in my head. Free entertainment. Honestly, and tours are great. They live rent free in my head sometimes. Even I know that she was here earlier. I don't think she's here anymore because my uh, power outage problem. But Silver Hair Simmer always starts out her videos with like "Hello Sim Family," and that lives rent free in my head too. Like I don't know why my brain will just be like when I say "Hello," it's like my brain tries to complete it with Sim Family. Um, I get to, well I'll toss up between that. It's either that or the way that RuPaul says "Hello, hello, hello." Um, but yeah, if I got Sims on the mind, obviously it's going the, the Sim Tuber way. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? Y'all need to go home. You had a nice date. I don't know why you decided to get your massage in a different room from your wife, but I think you can go home and sleep now. And since Nox is already here, actually, I wanted them to woohoo in the sauna. But I don't think they'll make it. Like, they're exhausted, they're elders, and I don't want them to die prematurely, so... I'm gonna have to pass on that one, but let's try and find uh, let's try and find somebody for Nox. Well, I don't know. It's your citrus soap. Should he look for more people, or are we thinking Siobhan or uh, Holly? Also, he met L. What did you think about L? I have no idea. Oh, but L's the oh, the major sage or whatever. I don't really want to get rid of that. Okay, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a, a poll right now. Um, Nox dating. Um, Siobhan? Ollie. I'm gonna specify Alto. Okay, somebody else comes in. Um, find someone new. What's Siobhan's last name? Fires. Keeping in mind, the only thing we know about them right now, Holly obviously is a celeb, well it's not obvious, maybe you don't know the sim. Holly is a celebrity sim, so that could be kind of fun to play with. She's a perfectionist, and Knox finds her attractive, where Siobhan, on the other hand, not a celebrity, um, but she's ambitious, and Knox finds her very attractive. In terms of finding another sim, it is going to have to be somebody uh, the Nox is attracted to. It could be anyone. He is bisexual. We went into the bar earlier. Um, 
Wait, is Siobhan still with Sergio? Yo, this is when I'm confused. No, <laughs> they're not together because the game only, I think, hints to it. I believe. You know what? Let's. Where's she at? Let's just invite her over. I'll ask if she's single. Game always breaks them up. Cause that's what I'm confused about. I don't think I've ever seen them together. I know, I'm pretty sure we talked about this one point because I remember learning that they should be together. But I think it's hard because those sentiments and stuff that- Well, actually, I know it's not a sentiment because that was early on. I don't remember what it is about them that makes them together. But let me see. Let's just ask if she's single. Oh, you know what? We actually have the exclusive- Where did Nox go? Oh, he just disappeared. We have the exclusive relationship stuff in here too, so... Um, ask a single. Ah, maybe. Sad. Shared sadness. Oh, she's sad. Oh, she's tense. Okay, oh, she is single. We could ask her. What does she think about? Ask about. Bumpler Steve, Ponyve. Be friendly for them. I forget how we ask about the relationships. May pick a shuma. We'll be is it actions or is that how I change it? Well, I guess I can just see. Hmm. I'm not sure. I also don't know why she's feeling so tense right now. Are you good? Maybe you should get a massage, my friend. Um. Never realize Siobhan's last name is Fire. Somehow I always read it as Fries without paying attention. Oh, you know what? Don't quote me on anything, though. I pronounce names wrong all day, all the time. So I don't know if I'm right. We had the same conversation about another Windenburg or Get Together family because Candy, I thought that her last name was Bar. I thought the joke was that she was Candy Bar and her sister was Yuki Bar. But then I got to YouTube and then I heard everyone calling her Candy Bear or something, Bear? And I was like, oh, it's very awkward. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I finally understood a Sims joke. But joke's on me. I can't say names properly. Oh, you want to meditate? You can do that. I feel like Siobhan could benefit from that too. Oh, I guess we can't tell her to do that. Oh my gosh, I always forget that his athletic wear is shirtless with like these like denim looking shorts and a belt. I can't even imagine. <laughs> I used to call Lucky and Joe Quinn. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Honestly, if there wasn't the character Joaquin in Riverdale, I don't think that I would have realized it either. That's what that name was. Um. Which actually, Joaquin Phoenix should have been, who's a celebrity, should have been my in inclination to that because... And we're also going to have Phoenix as Knox's child's name, so... Anyway, I also thought it was called Bar. Okay, so maybe it's maybe it's like a split vote here on like how you're supposed to pronounce that last name. I'm going to need a Sims guru to confirm that. If I ever make a big, if I ever become a game changer, is that what they're still called? If I ever get hired by EA to do the, the thing where you're the sim stuper, this is going to be my first order of business, is getting that cleared up. All of those things that I've like complained about in the game that aren't trans friendly, the second priority. First priority is a candy bear or candy bar. That's it. <laughs> Alright, how's the relaxation going? Level 2 wellness. Ooh, maybe we can make him into like yoga and stuff. Oh, he gives vibes that he'd be into yoga. Yeah, for sure. Um, I always assumed it was Bear because of the paint company. Oh, you know what? I don't think I, I've known about this. Uh, is he like New Age music? Sure. Basically, I can't pronounce any of the Windenburg townies. Yeah, that's that's very fair. I always get confused about... I think it's like Mickey Has and Mila Munch. I'm like, am I saying these names? Even like... Um, Alderic, I think is how you're supposed to say it. I'm like, got all those names wrong. Like, I can't. <laughs> he would for sure be into yoga, right? Yeah, he gets those vibes. 
I feel like he'd be like, not to diss him too much. I feel like he'd be like one of those like white people that like really likes teaching yoga, but like free yoga. That's like, you ever seen that? Um, if y'all watch Broad City, there's like a good scene where they go to like the free yoga, or I don't know if it's free or if it's just cheap. And it's like in a room full of like so many people and it's like really gross in there and like people are farting and stuff. That's the vibe of the yoga that I feel like Knox would go to as somebody who just like decides to be shirtless. Also for a second, I thought he had top surgery scars. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute, did Knox just get way cooler? Um, he did not. He's still the same level as cool as before. Um, I have an intense dislike for the person whose name I don't know how to say. M Mikey? Mike? Mike? <laughs> I said Mickey before, I don't know. Uh, it's because of her elitist book club. She never lets anyone join. Really? She called up uh, Cordelia during my Let's Play of those transgender mods and was like, hey, you want to join this? I've never had her be elitist to my sims. That's so funny. Um, but despite the questionable pronunciation of their names, I think Windenburg has some of the best townies. 100%. I can't even, like, the weird thing is, like, I can't imagine this I think, okay, I think Get Together might be my favorite pack, because I can't even imagine playing without Windenburg. Like, the area, I go there all the time, the clubs, like, I don't think I could do it. And I always forget that it's a pack. I always feel like that's just base game stuff. Also, how do you say Lily's last name from City Living? Yeah, that's a good question. I say Fung, but I don't know if that's right. Because I think I've heard like Fang as well. Um, if anybody knows, please. Please elaborate. Um, does it depend on the language you're playing in? The Windenburg names are mostly German origin. Yeah, I think that they are usually, I think they're all, it's like Wolfgang and stuff. That's German, isn't it? I say this name as Micah. Micah. Micah has. Fung. But ung? Fung. But with a humming tone. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Alright. I don't know. I usually just have to like, I find the phonetic pronunciation on YouTube and then just listen to it back repeatedly and practice for these things. Oh. It's hard to explain Chinese tones. Yeah, it's impossible to understand tonal languages to English speakers, or English-only speakers, I should say. Because, uh, yeah, it's uh, something. I've tried to... Um, so I'm trying to learn French, but I've also tried to learn some Punjabi, and there's tonal stuff in Punjabi, and like every time I'm like listening to like the... I listen to like an audio thing for like learning, and they're like, you want to pronounce it like this instead of like this. And they just do the right way and the wrong way. And I'm like, they sound exactly the same to me. <laughs> and like when I've been in person with somebody trying to like tell me like Punjabi words, they're like, no, you're saying it like this, but you got to say it like this. And I still can't hear the difference. Which is when I'm like, am I tone deaf? <laughs> this is the real meaning. Like I know that I get, oh, he wants to get a hand massage. You know, what? I feel like he should get his nails painted too. Um, what I was saying is I, I know that I can't, sing but now i'm like i didn't know it goes past that being tone deaf it also makes some languages difficult um nina caliente getting a job giving a pedicure to bjorn interesting interesting um get together is the pack where people are either we love it it's the best or we hate it it's the worst i feel like everyone should love it but i feel like the complaint should be whether or not it belongs it's just a base game without buying it as an expansion. Um, but just say the E as O uh, and so. you're okay. Okay, well I'm saying fun. So hopefully that's like close enough that, <laughs> you know, I don't practice otherwise. Uh, my favorite townies was the ones of City Living Pack with the werewolves pack changed my mind. Those townies are so cool. For real, the townies of werewolves look sick. Um, I'm trying to think, like, who else is in City Living? I guess, like, the Karaoke Legends and stuff are in it, too, which is pretty good. I don't know who my favorite townies are. Because, like, my problem is, like, my favorite townie would be, like, Vanessa from, like, Get Famous. But I don't like any of the other Get Famous townies, so I'm a little bit divided. He wants to sauna, woohoo! Um... Is Siobhan still here? 
Because she's supposed to be our... Wait. It's actually... Okay, yeah, Shravan is winning. I was going to say, wait, she only has 50% of the votes, and then I realized the other ones are, like, split between. So, yeah. let's see. Are you here? You want to come back? You want to, like, <laughs> test out this sauna together, Shravan? Marco. Um, He's yeah. hugging trash while peeing. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, bring her back. It's 11 a.m. Did we just stay here overnight? I think I just stayed here overnight meditating. Does their needs not go down when they meditate? <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Also, related to that, I, um, I was watching Simber's video about the werewolves pack, and it sounds like... Werewolves are like the perfect sims to just like live outside and they don't really need a home because of most of the perks that come with werewolves, which I find very interesting. Like whether or not I'm going to do a rags to riches with werewolves, undecided, but like I think it could be fun to have like that different style of gameplay where they just don't have a house. Um, seems cool. I'm looking for the little fridge. Where is the little fridge? I've also never done a face mask here, so I feel like I should do that. But let's, uh, where's the fridge? Can you find it, Nox? Is it in the basement? There isn't even a basement. Okay, what's happening? Am I having trouble seeing, or is there no fridge here? You know what? I'm just gonna make my own. Be the front desk. Maybe that's not a good place. Oh, you can't put it under counters? I don't know why I thought that it could fit underneath the counters, like a dishwasher. And I suppose I'll just leave it weirdly floating here. On Twitter, um, I saw if you could only pick one... Oh yeah, one expansion pack, game pack, stuff pack, and kit, what would they be? I'm curious what people would choose. I picked City Living, Spot A, Mosquito, and Carnival. Interesting. I don't- I'm surprised to see, um, Skino on that. Okay, let's, um... Okay, I'm gonna, like... Can you wake up, sir? Also, I took medicine. You're not supposed to be sick. Okay, we gotta impress- This is cute, Sim. That's a nice outfit. Anna, don't know who you are. Good outfit, though. Oh, Siobhan's doing a yoga class, so... <gasps> Jody. Hey Nox, I think I have a crush on- What? On Britney Show? <laughs> Do you think it's worth a try? Wow! Here I was stressing about breaking up with this man, and he's moved on to try and like date a celebrity. He saw us at the bar the other night talking to Holly Alto too. Yo, you think this dude was like, oh, Nox is gonna date a celebrity? Like, woman? Me too. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Where were you too? Um, sorry, let me go back. <laughs> my, I got a little heated there. Not just because of the heat wave that's happening in my area. <laughs> but here, get some cucumbers too, my guy. Cucumber slices. Did that not work? I think I placed this weird, didn't I? Because I don't really know what this strip is here. But I'm wondering if I'm allowed to walk on it. Okay, let's try that again. Ew, Bjorn's farting in the freaking sauna right now. Excuse you, sir. Oh, okay, it is working. Okay. Um, tones in Punjabi and Hindi are rough. Um, a Hindi speaker also for Punjabi accents play a big role too in my personal opinion. Yeah, that makes sense. I have a very difficult time. Um, the werewolves townies are smoking hot. Yup. <laughs> Nobody's disagreeing with you there, Angela. <laughs> um, oh, you don't even need to do the riches part because if they have the right perks and temperaments, they may not even want to inside or need a home. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's a good point. I'll just do the 
I guess the ripped rags part <laughs> with uh, the werewolves. Okay, how's this? Uh, can we just, I don't know, go stand near her? That's what people do on dates, right? Um, I got the werewolf pack. Ooh, yeah, since there are faded mates, I want to play as a sim who is not into their faded mate. Ooh, that's rough. Yo, I'm annoyed that the faded mates, it's like, somebody broke down how it, like, works. And it's like, the first other werewolf that you flirt with pretty much becomes your faded mate. Because they essentially do it where, like, there's a 50-50 chance each time you interact with another werewolf, like, flirting, that they'll become your faded mate. So like the odds are, because I was wondering how that was going to work though, because like if you're my sim, okay, say like the werewolf townies exist, right? That are already there. Then Nox becomes a werewolf. That would mean that his only options for a faded mate would have been the current werewolf townies. But then like if his wife becomes, well, I'm actually like him and Siobhan are married, but then she becomes a werewolf, then like he's out of the running because like he only had the pool beforehand. like. You know, but then like if all the other werewolves only had their each pool, then they anyway, whatever. I was confused about how it was going to work. So then I understand now why they just make it based off of the flirting. But I find it annoying because I was hoping it'd be like a little bit more like, ooh, like, who's it going to be? And it'd be like fun if like, you know, it was like non uh, reciprocated, I guess is the word. Um, well, I had to go with the gameplay and what I would get the most use out of. Moschino's freelance career is actually a super easy way to make money. Oh, plus the camera stuff is perfect for family photos. I've never... Why do my sims keep coming back here? Listen, Blossom, go home. <laughs> um, I've never had Moschino nor an interest to get it, but like the poses and stuff do look pretty good. <laughs> they really serve grunge by con with the werewolves pack for sure. I find that you always get the pop up with people you're romantically interested in. Like, they are like, should I go on a date with so and so? And I'm like, um, no, aren't we flirting? <laughs> yeah, I know. Is that like the hint? They're like, can we move things along or I'm going to like move on? Or they want you to say like, no, because like we're together. Um, sometimes you don't even need to flirt. What, really? My sim found theirs by doing a funny introduction. Um, I saw a mod for putting it as romance only and from a 50% chance to 10%. 10% would be much better. Oh yeah, to 15, so that's not it's not the first interaction. See that that I'm into. Okay, Siobhan, listen. I'm trying to get the woohoo on here. Discuss cognitive focusing methods. That sounds like some something that Nox would do. Huh? Happen. Okay. Whatever, talk about your equal lifestyle. Anything to get the conversation started. He's feeling sad right now. But I don't know from who. This is a shared sadness from a close sentiment towards someone feeling bad. But there's not even anybody who feels bad that he knows here. Ask about taste and decor. Okay. Maybe that's from when uh, Blossom came over for 30 seconds. But like, yeah, why not? Just tell her your pronouns, Nox. Is he getting sick? Yeah. He was getting sick. We took medicine, then he said he was better, but then now he's still getting symptoms from it. So, I don't know. I don't know why the medicine does it like that. Also, I realize we can end this poll. So Siobhan has won. Let's oh. give her like a little... Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're happy. We're happy. Let's get your flirt on. You like what you see, Siobhan? This shirtless man? No, come back. Wait, what's happening? Be greeted by Caleb. <laughs> I think Caleb... Uh, is, I know that Caleb is also into Siobhan. Because when we played as him... We tried to make that happen, but it didn't work out. So nice of him to just appear cranky on the other side of this wall to interrupt. Can you not right now, sir? Listen, we're not looking for boyfriend services. We're trying to flirt with Shabbat. Let's do flirt. 
Oh my god, is he gone now? Yo, Caleb is being mad sketchy today. <laughs> I don't even know where he went. Yo, what the? Nox, I think you might be in danger, buddy. Okay. She accepted the flirts. Wants to just do the same flirt again, but let's do a bull pickup line. Let's go for it. <laughs> Drama. Vampire boyfriend needs to wait till his stream. Yeah, Caleb, wait your turn, buddy. Also, wait, I want to see. Is there a... How do they feel about each other? Oh, man, they don't even have a... Attraction thing. All right, well. Okay. Sick room. I don't know if that worked. Ooh, that didn't look like it worked at all, actually. No, Javon, please. <laughs> also, I didn't know she had that walk style. She's like, a, she's like a good, looking like she's walking down the runway. We've literally officially been here for for like a full twenty four sim hours. By the way, <laughs> Fox has just been here at the spa trying to get this sauna woohoo going. What else do you want? Ask about love life. That's just a friendly one though. Yeah, let's blow her a kiss. <laughs> Not Nox talking about handcuffs on the first date. She kicked shaving him. Stop. Siobhan's more like, just read the room, please. <laughs> She's like, this is going well, but not that well, my guy. Okay, she's accepted the bachelor rose. It's signed. The little shirtless embrace. Nox should be a yoga instructor. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We're gonna do, hopefully we're gonna do the food truck that only sells food made out of um, bugs. And we can also make him a yoga instructor. And I don't know anything about Siobhan, actually. No, no, Siobhan, come back, come back, come back, come back. First kiss, first kiss. Please. Aww. Cute. Hey, Georgiou Bay. Nice. Um, I don't know. Whisper seductively. When can we woohoo? Wait, what's happening right now? Hear about Siobhan's career. She's lying to us about her career. She's like, yeah, I'm a musician. <laughs> musician. Oh my god, magician for uh, my career. He's like, yo, that's sick. He's like, I'm personally unemployed. <laughs> nice. Bruce Rex. Goodbye. No, we're not saying goodbye. Okay, let's just go for it. They're having a steep. Whoa. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit occupado up here. Can we still woohoo? Hmm. Uh, what if I at least get them over there? I think I feel like she left. She leave. Siobhan, please. We're so close. <sighs> okay, listen. I think he ruined the the vibes. Wait, are you attracted to this person? Or maybe she is the vibes. I don't know. Sir Jill, very attractive. That's fine. We're already very attractive with Siobhan. I'm gonna need you to head out. Oh, she's heading out herself. Good job. Thank you. Okay, almost there. <laughs> she said nice try, slick, rude. Um, hi, can you please tell me how I can make a male get breast, but I did it with the cheat, but they can't be big. Okay, here, wait, let me, uh, I'm trying to woohoo right now, but I can demo that for you. When I'm done with this, if you stick around. 
It should just take like one minute. Does she not agree to come? She'll be right over. Okay. We're just going to take a little nap. Also, Mary has shown up again. <laughs> Mary and Blossom are like, Nox, we're concerned about you, sweetie. Can you please just come home? Why have you been at the, uh, at the spa all day? <laughs> oh, Jody's inviting us over. He would. Oh, wait. I don't think we can interact with her because I think she's in a gendered chain room. And okay, now let's try. <laughs> Nox gives the energy that he teaches yoga so we can use the spa facilities for free, a hundred percent. Okay, is this gonna work out? Nice, Siobhan used a condom. Good choice. Wait, what? Nox is about to woohoo for the first time? I thought that he woohooed with Jody, to be honest. I didn't know this was his first time. Cute. Okay. I mean, now that that's looking less suspicious, I'll take a photo. Okay, you can finally go home, my guy. Let me switch control. So I'm realizing that if we're gonna adopt a baby together, I think they're gonna have to be married. Unless I just have the baby show up as his baby, and then when they live together, we can, uh... Yeah, let me just save one thing in a bit. Then when they live together, we can make her realize that that's also her adopted baby. Or they can have a kid together. Like, bio kids. I'm doing a lot of polls today, but... So, Siobhan... I'm gonna... One sec, let me figure out how to spell her name, because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, Siobhan, Siobhan, and Knox. And adopt and have bio babies. Let's see. Uh, the cheat work, but they can't be as big as female. That's strange. They should be. Are you like grabbing, like, first of all, you have the, um, what's it called? The, no, it's like, I gotta pull up the cheat. I always forget. Cast full edit mode on. Because if you have that, well, actually, even without that, I feel like you should be able to adjust. Let me check. Let me use. Oh, one second, my camera just died. I'm gonna fix that in a sec. But, yeah, you should be able to just grab them the same way. Like, if you look at that photo, like the Mortimer ones, cause like, if you don't have it in properly, it'll still let you like puff out their chest. But like, if you have the cheat properly, it'll let you, like, it'll let you do the same as you would with, like, female sims. Um, but yeah. The whole vibe of the Greenberries gives big adopt energy. I agree, um, which is why it was my first thought. My only hesitation now is because I want... I guess we could do, like, a... I guess we could just get them married really fast. Um, I just want, like, her to register that the adopted kid's also hers, and I want it to happen before Mary and Blossom pass away. But anyway, one second, let me go change my battery.
Uba. Baroga? Zoli? Gatharo Musta? Barbara Gaines. Zoa Wurski? Sharp Beecha? Bumble Steve? Ponyev? Bavosi? Babum? Quetsi? Ichuda? Kazitanor? Ina Tabano? Sam McQueen? Skimba shows them? Why make us the bro? Quetsi? Ichuda? Tanoba Jensiba Quexel No Ba Rixel Kimba Smine Thurgo Muma Flows It Cusip Bonza Bavroga Zori Okay. There we go. Okay, I am back. Also, this really tripped me out when I came back and saw this in the corner. I thought that there was like, I don't know, I thought there was actually dogs in our yard. <laughs> um, I think I'll head to bed. Have a nice stream, everyone. Thanks, Emily. Enjoy the rest of your evening, too, and thanks for hanging out. The whole vibe of the... No, I read that one. Eloping with Siobhan with spinach is the officiant. Yo, if the... Um, is that packing called My Wedding Stories stuff? Let you have, like, pets involved like that? Even having spinach as, like, the ring bearer, I think I would... Uh, I'd bite the bullet and I would get My Wedding Stories. Ren balance slipping. Oh. Okay. I'm still even like, because um, the My Wedding Stories women are like elders in it. I think it could be good. Like maybe I'll add them into the rotation for this one. When, because uh, when we lose, um, I feel like sad talking about it almost. <laughs> when we le lose Derek and Ian, like there's nothing to continue their rotation. Um so like the other alternative that i was thinking about was we could move tofu <laughs> and uh mudget into with a different family and like play that family but in terms of families i was thinking either i could make it because I, I wanted to stay canon sorry i'm like thinking at the same time as i'm talking but i wanted to stay canon for which Sims EA was making um, that like the same gender. But I could either do one of the trans Sims, so like Leah, really, because Paka and Morgan are kind of like taken. We could do Leah in the rotation and they could adopt um, Mudget and Tofu. Or we could do the Watson family because Rami in that is canonically bisexual. Or I could buy my wedding stories and I could play through those women. Uh, I think their name's like Dominique, Dom Dummy, and Camille? Cami? I don't know. Um, but yeah, those are kind of my options. I'm still hesitant about buying my wedding stories or whatever. Cause I gotta see if it's uh if it's working and everything. And also I don't like I don't like wedding gameplay, so I'm really only doing it because I want to get the gays that are in the pack. <laughs> oh yeah, we were at the spa for so long that uh, they're threatening to turn our power and water on. Ooh, we only got two hundred dollars left. Ooh, I love the idea of Rami divorcing her husband and striking out on her own. Yeah, that could be interesting. We could, wait, what the heck? Sorry, I thought I put that inside. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please put this in your inventory. I messed it up. Please fix it. Fix it, Blossom. Oh, one second. Go. Um. 
that was such a missed opportunity with my wedding stories. New gray gaze. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, granted, like, the thing is, like, the other Sims, like, Brent and Brant are eventually also going to go and be gray gays, which is going to be very cute. Very excited. Same with, like, Tina and Yasmin and also we have Layla and Oleana. Um, I love the idea. Oh, wait, I already read that. I think the Watsons would be a bit much with all those family members plus dogs. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, I maybe... Like, the way that I was thinking of playing it and open to thinking about it. We could do um, Rami divorced, moves to the city to kind of explore that. But then, like, so the kids stay at the farm with, like, I forget, was, is his name Thomas or something? With the dad. Because, like, you know, it's the family home. And, like, I think he was he's supposed to be the one that's into the farming anyway. I don't know. I got to look more at that family, actually. Um, I want to make a recorded video about that family as well, because I have some ideas. But then she could, like, go to the city and kind of, like, explore that side of herself. Because um, I think, because right now, one of the kids became a teenager. And I'm thinking the other kid's going to grow up to be a teenager. So maybe it's, like, a classic story of, like, the kids are old enough now. I'm going to, like, start living my life for me. Whoever has the highest relationship with the kids will get custody. We could do that because maybe we would take like a kid with us. Because like the one is a teenager when you start. So I think she's going to be an adult by the time we play. Um, and then the other two are children. So we could do it like that. But I wouldn't mind just like having her be single and like do the whole visitation stuff for the relationship with her kids. I also love the Watson kids. Oh. I don't know them well enough yet. Yeah. One of them is in that group with Tane and Olive, though. You know what? It's 3 a.m. Why are you awake, girl? Let's see. What's everyone else doing? A little bit rough, but that's fine. Are you going to sleep? Yeah, okay. Um, What about the mayor? She's also bisexual. Yes. So technically, well, we don't even know if she's bisexual. We just know that she likes women, I think. Because I don't think we know anything about um her son's like other parent, right? Um, But yes, to that point. The only thing is, and it's the same reason I don't want to play with Paka or Morgan, is like I don't want to play as a family. Well, actually, Paka wouldn't be as bad, but I don't want to play where I remove somebody from like their role. Like you know how like Morgan's like an important like character in the realm of magic, and then the mayor is also kind of also. No, I think she'll be an elder. I was gonna say also she might be dead, but I think she starts as an adult, right? So she's just going to be older. That's why I'm like hesitant. Um, city woman Rami is a juicy idea. Juicy. Ooh. Um, yeah, because they don't have any city living. Like it'd be nice to even just do like a, an apartment with her, I think. Um, I bought The Sims 2 for the first time the other day and the graphics definitely not great, but it makes me appreciate the graphics and customizations of The Sims 4. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like you... I don't know. Again, I said this earlier, but like the nostalgia is really the huge factor for me. But like, I also like in The Sims 2, you can have like multiple like sim interactions. Like they can all play, hang uh, out. They can all like throw like footballs around together. They can like play cookie sack or whatever. They can play tag. Like so many more interactions with multiple sims at once. Are you very tense? How am I supposed to help you? My sweet spot when it comes to for too few is, is bad. Too many also is bad. There's getting out of hand. Mary wants to figure out who. I don't. You only have like your wife as a friend. Oh, and these randoms who I've never seen before. And Kim. Okay, well, I don't know. If you talk to somebody, will you feel better? Uh, well, Myra, Mayra? Mayra is also known for wanting to venture out into the unknown. Um, so her moving with her mom to the city would make us oh is it the teenager one um i've tried again but it gives uh a little bit but not the female size yeah okay um but it's like it's smaller than like sorry but the video that i, I show how to use it in when i use mortimer are you saying it's smaller than mortimer or it's like the same as what mortimer has in those because Mortimer is the actual sim that I tested that on, so you should be able to get the same results as that. If it's any smaller or like more difficult, then there might be something wrong, but... Also, depending on what sim you're using, perhaps the sim's not... doesn't have enough weight on them. If you want to make them like... fatter in general, that might assist. Um... 
I hate the lifestyles for this reason. Yeah, they make t Sims tense, and I'm like, you know what? I might delete it. I'm gonna do it. Again, it's like their last rotational play. I'm not gonna mess around with this. <laughs> I'm gonna let her enjoy her life. Um, related to that, let's harvest all this stuff. And how are you doing? She still has this want for a basketball hoop. Is that how you want to spend your last days, Blossom? You want to spend it playing? Oh, we got $20. I can't even buy you a basketball hoop if I wanted. Okay, let's finish this painting and we'll make her dream come true. If she still has the want after doing this, then we'll buy her the basketball hoop. Her last wish is to ball hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this stock table. And Nox is awake, which is good. Uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not this man getting pubic lice after his first woohoo. <laughs> I forgot that was in the game. Even though she used a condom, eh? That's rough. That was real rough. <laughs> so how are you doing in there, spinach? Come out, he's slightly dirty. Can you uh, tend to our little dude in here? Is this modded? Yes, it is. I um, I think this command should still work. I don't know if it will or not, to be honest, but I had a list of all the mods that I had, so I'd remember. Um, yeah, I think the only mod that's missing from this list that's in the chat right now is the one for ask and tell pronouns that I've since added. And uh, I put the genderless mod in as well. But I'm going to end this poll. Sounds like we've decided it's adoption for sure. Boy. <laughs> oh, hey, I heard you became friends with Sh Siobhan Fires. They're pretty cool. Yo, this man is so jealous. Yeah, how are you and Brittany doing? <laughs> um, hi, bro. Hey, how's it going? Um, let me see this. Uh, Rashida should be a young adult now, though. Oh, okay, Rashida is the one I was thinking of then. Brother Imran wants security, but yes, Rashida also wants out of Hamburg. Okay. Huh? Let's. Well, first of all, let's clean. Oh my gosh, my guy, what happened? I hate it when they get like they just chill in the shed and then they get really unhappy. Like he should be okay, my guy. And that's also I want to check the neighborhood stories, but we gotta go over to Siobhan's house. We gotta like gotta speed some things up. Oh, Eliza and Bob pancakes had a baby. I'm also interested because Siobhan's parents are also Sims that are... Oh, wow, not a lot happened actually. But they're Sims that are family oriented, so usually my game gives them 100 kids too. Um, Tammy Fletcher in the Fletcher household has started a job as a freelance. I thought Fletcher was just Cameron Fletcher, but all right. Sarah and Simon in the Scott household delivered a baby. Um, Alaka in the Kahana Nui household oh. retired from their job as an assistant manager. Amelia huh? and Daryl in the Charm household delivered a baby. That's it. All right, Knox. Let's, uh, let's go visit your future girlfriend. Yeah, I think that's a glitch sometimes they get stuck in there. Yeah, and you gotta like call them out otherwise. I'm like, I can't tell if it's a glitch or like your animals are just supposed to be annoying sometimes. Where are they? Wintenberg. For the fire's household. Okay, yeah, so they just have this one new sibling. Jacobo. Oh, she's not even home. She's at the spa. <laughs> We're not going back to the spa. I'm gonna invite her back home. Alright, time to woo her. We can meet her parents too.
Mm, the Malsum only has a bit of brass, only if he gets skinny. Okay, I don't know what's going on with yours. Let's see if you've tried it again. I um do you use mods? Um <laughs> Big Man Nugget? <laughs> what a fun username. Kermit, Kerber, Kermit with a uh, cowboy hat. Do, do you use mods at all? Because I will offer you an alternative if you use mods. Um, that's not it. Here we go. I've yet to test this mod, so take that with a grain of salt. And I will make a video when I do test it. But uh, that mod should do the same thing, but it gives you the options in cast so you can toggle them. It might be easier. Um, give that a shot. Oh, use console. Sorry. So that's not helpful. I wonder if maybe it does just show up. Maybe in console it... Maybe that's why it doesn't get as big? I don't know. I know that that cheat works for console in general. But, and I haven't noticed a difference otherwise. So, um, anyway, let's try and, uh, let's introduce ourselves to mom. Moira, hey, what's up? I'm, uh, I went on one date with your daughter. She gave me pubic lice, unfortunately, but it was great. It was my first time. Just kidding. Huh? <laughs> Hoping he would not say all that on the first meeting. Dag. Uh -huh. <laughs> hands. Um, I found your channel today when I was looking into mods for Channel Sims. Nice! And when I clicked on it, I found you were streaming. Nice, that's fun. Um, I'm actually going through a few other mods, which I just alluded to with that link that I sent, so you'll be seeing some other ones. Um, okay, I've seen others use it on console and it worked for them, so there must be something wrong with mine. That is strange. And your game's like updated and everything? And did you try it on like different sims? Like, did you try it? Like, I would say even just giving it a shot on Mortimer. I mean, I know that you said you tried it twice, but I don't know if you tried it with the same sim or not, but that is odd. Sorry to hear you're having struggles with it. Wouldn't it be nice if the Sims team just made this a feature that you didn't have to unlock with cheats? <laughs> so we didn't have to troubleshoot this stuff. Nar Vadish. Ah, All right, I feel like we should try and meet Dad too. And maybe we could like, should we go out? Maybe like an at-home proposal is like a bit. I don't think Dad's home. I don't know. Where would Knox? Oh my gosh, Jody. <laughs> so this is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Phew. Okay, it's out there. Um, so would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I can't. For anybody who's missed it, Jody was Knox's first kiss. We were dating Jody. It was going fairly well, but Jody doesn't want to have kids because he dislikes kids. So we decided as a vote that we were not going to move forward with Jody. Then Jody proceeded to ask us without us bringing up with him if he should go on a date with Brittany Cho. He did. Chow, Cho. I don't know how to pronounce that name properly, but that's how I, I say Cho because of Margaret Cho, but I don't know if that's right. Um, anyway, so then, yeah, now he's, yeah, he's, he's saying he has a crush. Should we ghost him? Let's just do that. Let's just be friends. This is, I guess we're breaking up over the phone. Oh, sure. No worries. Let's just pretend this never happened. Okay. <laughs> I'm already friend zone him, I guess. Yeah, he's back for more because the Britney thing didn't work out. He didn't tell us how it went with Britney. So yeah, now we officially like we're not like the lovebirds with him anymore. I can't. <laughs> right before the proposal too. And share a secret. I don't know what secret he'd be sharing, but. Okay, they actually have pretty high romance, which is mostly probably because they uh, are attracted to each other, very attracted to each other. Or he's very attracted to her. I don't know what she feels about him. Well, let's um. Be nice if we could go somewhere where it's not raining. I feel like Knox would propose like at a landfill or something. <laughs> <laughs> like somewhere just ridiculous, but probably somewhere outside, right? We could go to Hanford. Mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, I feel like I could see him do a... Uh, the quarry is pretty? Where's that? Is that one of these? Oh. Oh, this became a marketplace. I mean, this one's all broken down now because we never fixed it. Should we go to this? Let's go to the marketplace, maybe. At the farmer's market. Who wouldn't propose to the farmer's market? I'm assuming this is going to look like a farmer's market. I've never seen it actually repaired. And I wonder how we can interact with this space, because I was trying to get this so that Tina Tinker could actually sell some stuff here, in case our retail location didn't work out well for her. Ooh, yeah! Okay, this is cute. Yeah, this feels like a farmer's market. Let's uh, talk about eco lifestyle, sure. Cute! Yo, what? There's like a little stall here, too? Oh, this is actually very cute. I can't believe I've never made these community centers before. All right. Oh, she's selling some candles. Let's get Shivana candle. This one looks kind of cool. Purple? I don't know. What colors does she like? Do we know anything about our future wife? I don't even know her second trait yet. <laughs> it's, um... Or if she wants an exclusive relationship. This is going to be a very interesting uh, discovery period for us. Um, let's get to know. Also, I just the other day learned that these actually go in alphabetical order. I never knew that. And every time I'd be distressed looking for the different options that I knew were supposed to be there. It's very life changing. Oh, she's an insider. I should know that. Oh, Dad showed up anyway, but he showed up because he's a fan of someone here. Well, let's try and meet him. Dominic, my guy. Come back. Dad's gonna be here for the proposal. His dad says we're tingling. He's like, mm, I feel like a strange shirtless man's gonna- oh my god, it's Brittany. Does that mean that Jody's gonna show up here too? What kind of stuff do they sell here? Oh, we got teas? Oh, we only have six dollars! Kira was thinking we could buy a candle for her. Can we sell something maybe? This photo of Tane and uh, Elle? Um, and we got like a pile of discarded food. It's got an easel, which I mean, we can sell that. Let's do that. Alright, let me try and... Let's, yeah, let's get some candles. Let's buy one for Dad, too. Blue. Men like blue, right? And this one's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, Britney's selling stuff. Wait, 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 he's a fan of Britney. We gotta buy like a... Let's buy some fizzy juice from Britney and give it to Dad, since he's a big fan of hers. Hey, Dominic, what's up, dude? Let's do friendly. Give gift. Friendly gift. Buy you some Britney fizzy juice. Your fave. Uh, if you have the wedding pack, you can ask for blessing to marry. I certainly do not have the wedding pack. Maybe I'll get it in time for somebody and we can do like a, a really bad gay wedding with it. Um, I want to watch a stream and play The Sims 4 and I like to watch the stream on laptop. I watch, oh, I watch the stream on my phone, but the laptop is more enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way. I actually have two monitors though, so I usually like I play my own Sims game and then I watch other streamers on the other side. Did he not like that gift? I missed it because I was reading. Come on, man. Maybe he'll like the blue candle more. It just feels bad now. It feels like we're just trying to bribe like our... Yeah, we got you this too. He does not like Britney that much. Or maybe he's like, um, I wanted to buy it from Britney personally. How about this? 
Shibes. <laughs> He's just okay with it? Okay, that went well. He's like, yeah, blue. I'm a man, I love blue. Nice. Also, why is Siobhan hiding in the bathroom right now? She's like text. I feel like she's like texting her sister right now. She's like, yo, dad just showed up here on my date. Can you believe him? <laughs> Like, mom, please. Mom, please come get him. <laughs> Here, why don't you join our conversation? Oh, she just won't come out here. Um, what's happening? Can we sit here? He was like, you can't buy my approval, sir. I think she's stuck in the bathroom. Siobhan, please. <laughs> supposed to be a very romantic uh, proposal here. That was an all-gender bathroom. In theory, we should be able to go in there to get her. Hello? Siobhan, please. You think she's having cold feet right now? You think she knows what's up? She knows that he's going to propose? Oh my god, Jody, come on. <laughs> Remember when we talked about Britney Cho? We went on a very nice date. Congrats, Jody. After we just like broke your heart and Britney's been here the whole time. I think Jody's like, you know, those like shows, those US shows that'll be like, yeah, I have a girlfriend. She's in Canada. He's like, yeah, I have a girlfriend. It's actually that celeb that we all know about, and I'm with her right now. <laughs> and Knox is just looking over at jo and, uh, not Jody, at Brittany Knox over here, like, now. yeah, sure, Jody. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try and reset her. But I am wondering, should I take this as the hint that she does not want to get married? <laughs> but come on, Siobhan, we need to speed this up. Our parents aren't gonna last much longer, and we really want to see the cute grandma moments. Nope. Okay, what if we leave? And then we come right back. The toilet is in the way? Is that what it is? I thought it was gonna be this, like... <sighs> if I just move this, do you think that'll help? Also, for the record, this is a an EA build. This is not me, so I don't know why they... Well, she showed the toilet, so same. Okay, okay. I'm just confused because I'm pretty sure she used the toilet, right? Like, how did she get in there if she can't get out? There we go. That was the issue. Great. Now. Um, give relationship advice. No, I think we don't need to do that. Oh, wait, we can go, like, up here. This will be kind of cute, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. The hedges might be in the way for my photos, but... Look at him, like, strutting, because he is, like, this the flirty stuff going on. As per usual, I'm late. <laughs> I drave in. Okay. You're just in Well, I, unless she leaves, I was going to say, you're just in time for my proposal, and then I see that she's, like, walking away completely. Please, Siobhan, please. Oh. <laughs> My god. Now Jody's trying to invite us to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. <laughs> no. Please, Siobhan. Siobhan, please. <laughs> you spent the entire time locked in the bathroom. Now she's out. She's done. Okay, I'm gonna invite her back. I feel cheated. This is like this. This is their first woohoo all over again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sir, give it up. We don't want you. Jody is so desperate. I know. Like, watch. I haven't even checked if Siobhan wants a exclusive relationship. Or, what is this? Hey, Knox, it's me, Siobhan. Do you want to go on a date? Honey, we do. We really do, but do we have to go to the bar in Brindleton Bay? Can we not have this romantic, like, whatever, man? I think she's probably like, listen, 
I've hung out with you once, and we hooked up at the spa the same day that we met. <laughs> um, she's like, can we please just have a first date, my guy? Just like one single date <laughs> before this happens. <laughs> she knew. She knew what was going down. She was like, I see this man giving gifts to my dad. <laughs> Um, I hate when Build By is so laggy like that. I know, my game is like extra rough lately. I don't know if it's my computer or what. Actually, I I, I bought a new computer. Whoa. It's exciting. It's not coming for a while, but um, I'm hoping that will like help with some of this. Whereas I know most of it is just The Sims being The Sims. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you just hug garbage. Yeah. Okay, now it's raining and uh, we're here. Whatever. Go on a date. Let's get some drinks together. Let's do. I think he likes. It's like something and Tang or something. The zebra fizz. What is this? Buffalo wing tea? What are you talking about? There's no. Really? There's no write up for that? I really want to learn more. What was it? I don't even see his favorite drink on here. Oh no, there it is. Tang and Zing. Rosta. Pample peluche. Ooh, a poor. Um, I tried it on Mortar, but it still doesn't work. I honestly, I have no idea what's going wrong. Like, unless you, well, no, you're a console, so you don't have mods that conflict with it. I'm really not sure what's happening in your game. I'm sorry that's not working for you. Because if you have all the other cheats on, then it should be working fine. Even though you're on console. Oh, that's nice. This woman was forced to stand because of us. Now she's thinking about Siobhan. Like, okay. It's <laughs> funny. Um, let's... Sure, talk about politicians. Uh, what company? For the computer? Is that what you're asking? I ended up getting a Lenovo. Um, I got a Legion 5. So hopefully it's good. You know, like I mostly wanted a laptop because I just wanted to be able to sit on the couch. <laughs> um, because yeah, right now I like this same setup that I use right now is the setup that I have for working from home for like eight hours a day. So uh, mine was super leggy and build by last night for the first time, but I just assumed I have too much CC. Yeah, I assume that about you as well, Draven, <laughs> from what you've told me about all your CC. I would kill for a buffalo wing tea right now. I actually really love uh, buffalo sauce, like the Greg's Red Hot buffalo sauce. I uh, put that shit on everything, if you will. And so I feel like maybe I would like a drink. Oh my god, Brittany, come on. <laughs> really, eh? You done selling your fizz at the farmer's market? Now you're just having to be coming to Brindleton Bay? Great. <laughs> yeah, this person has the right idea. She's like, for real? Siobhan too, yes. Siobhan's a keeper. She's like, oh god, my dad's favorite celeb is here. Ooh, but Nox is into it. Um, yeah, the only time I have lag is in build by. Not sure why that's an issue. Yeah, I think it's like, uh, seems to be it. I'm going to because that was one of the lag fixes they were supposed to have made, right? Um, okay. Maybe we can, like, go outside. Is it still raining? Oh my god, Diego looking real cute outside right now, though. Hey, what are they? What's happening? Why is everybody... Why are they taking photos of the garbage? Is that where Brittany's gonna go stand? <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, because she's kicking over the trash. Right, right, right. As a celeb does. Are these not gendered? Perfect. Let's use the washroom. Wait, why does his apartment make you angry? I like his apartment, I think. I haven't played him in a while, so I might not be remembering properly. But he has like that romantic fight. What is happening? I just saw somebody in a bear suit get naked over here. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on. Somebody dancing out here. Oh, she put her clothes back on. Anyway, um, but yeah, I remember the romantic fireplace and that he has one of those gaming pads. I don't remember anything else. 
It's Trash Machine of their latest album. Yeah, is that a celeb uh, trash bin out there that Britney just assaulted? Okay, let's uh, wash our hands a couple of times because we're actually getting pretty gross. Brush our teeth. I feel like Siobhan's going to complain about this date because we've not spent like any time with her. But let's, uh, maybe we can turn on some... What's something you would dance to? Oh, it's Carnival music, even though I don't have the, the pack. That's cool. Let's go dance to that together. Oh, wait, what? Why did you go back? It's fine, it's fine. We're getting there. Tense, unbearable, from nearby bear. Oh, just found out that our uh, bartender's a vampire as well. Uh, Diego is an art critic with an apartment that doesn't have the, that creative art. I'm curious if originally it was intended he was supposed to be a food critic. Oh, you think so? And then they just like made Gita a food critic and then they just like swapped it up. Oh, because he has the skill requirement for being one, but not the art. Interesting. Okay, little cat. I'm gonna rainbow. Oh, rainbow the cat. Listen, happy pride and all, but please stop crying. Um, I just got a new Lenovo, and the Sims build by <laughs> runs so smooth. It only struggles um, with gen uh, genetics and cast, even with little to no CC. But that's happened with any laptop I've had. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. My um. The computer that I have right now is like the um, graphics card and everything on it is from like 2012. So I think any computer at this point probably would have been an upgrade. Like any newer computer would have been an upgrade, even if it is a laptop that I'm moving to. So, oh wait, how did it go? I missed it. Uh, well, I guess this is a uh, goodbye. Um, don't call me ever. What? Okay, we lost some romance, but not all of it. Come on! We danced, we had a drink. I think Brittany ruined that for us. I'm starting to think that Brittany and Jody might be in cahoots together. <sighs> and now it's bear night. I don't know, is he into any of these bears here? Let's see, what's up? Scope surroundings. You just get some french fries. Oh yeah, he likes this bear. And this bear. <laughs> Baby, don't call me ever could be our always. Stop it. <laughs> Off topic, but I love the city living careers. They have personality. Yeah, what are they? There's the critic ones, and what else came with the? Uh... Wait, what? How did we become a freelance writer? I am so confused. I was just gonna open this so that we could see the different careers. Let me just quit that job real quick. Um, where's work? Good job. Strange. <laughs> Poor Dox's love life is, is rough. It really is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if we should take these as hints. Or if the hint is just that my, my game is not working well. Critic. Oh, social media politician. Yeah, yeah. I like the politician one too, actually, because I played that with Abby's mom. Social media I haven't used at all. Okay, let me try that again. Find a job. What do you want to do? You want to talk to a plant? You want to finish reading a book? Okay. Um, because we gotta get him working on. I wanted to wait till he like had the kid, but he needs to be a civil designer for his aspirations. So I'm gonna get him started on that. Um, sure, let's see your work assignment. Acquire recycled materials. Sure. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go home. That didn't work out very well. Should I do it? Should I just go from the bad date to immediately trying to propose to her tomorrow and just see? Just whatever happens, happens. She says yes, she says no, we don't know. But we're doing it at the freaking farmer's market. That's what I'm thinking. Um, also, I probably jinxed it now. I'll probably get all the like and build by next time. Pray for me. Oh no. I will uh, be sending you thoughts and prayers for your game not to freeze. Uh, being in public relations for someone in the political career just makes sense. Social media is fun. I haven't tried that one at all. Maybe I will try it. I made the worst pot of coffee. I am so disappointed. Oh no. I don't know anything about coffee because I don't drink it, but that sucks. Honestly, the Knox Rapunzel thing is ringing true as Lovelace is going down the drain right now. Yeah, he just needs to let down his hair out of his like trapped. Oh my gosh. This bill's due again? Using too much utilities. Didn't we just pay the bills? How long have I been playing this for? Yeah, we gotta also... Blossom, why? Why does this whole family just barbecue every single time I come back to the lot? You like gardening? He does. Okay. Okay, listen. We gotta, we gotta sort some things out here, people. We need a lot more money. I think it's gonna be through paintings. Uh -huh. She makes a plate of hot dogs and then goes and grabs a serving from the fridge. Okay. <laughs> Evil witch Brittany Joe messing him up. Yeah, you think he's being like voodoo voodoo dolled? Granted, I feel like I feel like it's it's Jody. It's somehow I'm coming back to Jody because it's clear that they're working together. But uh, let's try and get some other paintings going here. Surrealism. Let's go. And you, listen. I don't think you're gonna sell out of this produce in time. Well, let's just let's just give it a shot. Okay, tomorrow is the day we're proposing. I don't care if she says yes or no at this point. Maybe we should just adopt a baby. I think maybe we should just go for it. And then whoever he finds to be his partner, we'll just like, we'll add them in later into the deal. Because we are running out of time. I will save now though, while I'm thinking of it. So I don't want to lose all that. Can you afford a baby? Oh my gosh, we need a thousand dollars. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we really need to move this produce. Oh, the H is here. Okay, listen, I'm... We're gonna see. Nox, sorry to awake you, but are you into H? Because I'm kind of into him. I can see him being a reoccurring. If Siobhan denies your engagement tomorrow, I'm just saying. <gasps> no, where'd he go? Did he leave? Oh, we weren't fast enough coming out of our tower. No. Okay, well, listen. Mary can invite him over tomorrow. We'll try again. If we, get, if we don't get engaged, then maybe Mary will set him up. If they're attracted, we'll go for it. Okay. And put this in inventory. All along it was H. <laughs> and toddler stuff. Oh, do you use CC? I do not. Um, the only CC that I have in my game is body hair and top surgery scars. Um, I find CC shopping quite overwhelming. But honestly, like, we are playing a lot more with toddlers lately, so maybe it'd be fun if I actually... Um, all those toddler toys that are CC. Okay, let's stock this. Use the washroom. Oh, wow. That cow plant one's pretty cool. Okay. 
All right, the vampire in the fedora is interested, or sun hat, gardening hat. Oh, bye bye. They just keep going back and forth. You need to grow. Oh my gosh. Then you can make pink every day. All right, strawberries, snapdragons, lilies, tulips, chrysanthemums, apples, and cherries. And then you can grab dragon fruit, bird of paradise, orchid, and pomegranate, also death flower. See, I think after this, I think after this stream when Mary and Blossom are gone, I don't think I'm going to bother with the gardening too much. Like, maybe we'll just have like a, a whatever one for Nox. But I, it's been decided that he's moving out. When his moms pass away, he's not going to keep this property. We could maybe even do like, depending on how many generations I play with, like maybe the baby that gets adopted could grow up and then like want to rebuy this back um, as their lot. But yeah, I think we need Also, I think my yard sale's broken. Let me try this again. No, nope, it always flashes red. Okay. Suspicious. Hurry up, Nox. Today's the day. What the? This woman came into the house and started painting. Maybe she's contributing. She wants us to sell her art as well. <laughs> Let's just add it. <laughs> Oh, look who's back! Come here! Come here, you! <laughs> Judith Ward is also walking by. Okay, get out of the shower, let's go! Priorities! What? Did he leave? <laughs> Yo! Nox is cursed! It's official! There's just nothing I can do right. I should really get going. Thanks for hanging out. You didn't even let us say hi to you. Oh man. That's not right here. Um, granted, they're probably going to meet and then Nox is going to like find him unattractive or something. Um, I hate CC shopping, but I got my sibling to download this CC kit with a bunch of LGBT plus CC. Oh. Oh wait, what the heck? Now Caleb's our friend? Which one is it? Do you remember? Because um, I think I've seen like there's like the grunge one or something like a pride, but it's like more like jean denim vests and stuff. I've been tempted by that one before. Aww. If Unlucky was a trait in The Sims 4, Nox would have it. Oh no. <laughs> He's just bad at love. The pressure's just on because I really, really want him to like have this kid before his mom's die. Oh. They're serenading each other. I, think I can't. I don't know if I'm ready for them to die. Anyway, you gotta look after your needs. Stop uh, flirting with your wife out here. Oh wait, no, you're. Can you tend the table? I didn't realize you were browsing it. Yashoda. Nancy buying six dollar grapes. <laughs> if you're watching here, don't forget to hit the like button. Smash that like button, if you will. I don't know how cheesy I should be getting. Should I like up my YouTube personality? What do people think? People seem to think that I have a very chill vibe because of my voice being like just the way that my voice is, I guess. <laughs> Should I like really start amping it up instead? Should I be sitting, saying smash that like button and hit subscribe every time I hit a video? Should I become a YouTube bro? <laughs> Maybe that would like, that's the key to success. If I ever want to make it big enough that the uh, that EA has to listen to my suggestions for the game, Go for it, dude. <laughs> should I? Maybe I like. Should I wait for like April Fools or something, and then just do like my best stereotypical, 
um, impersonation of like a YouTuber. Should I actually take YouTube seriously and do the things that every other YouTube does? YouTuber does. Um, let me know in the comments below. Just kidding, that was a joke. Um, lifestyle lost. Heck yeah, Mary has lost their close knit lifestyle. Love that for us. No more stress from that. Let me do this. We also gotta pay our bills. Oh, we still don't have enough money. We're so close though. We need like ten more dollars. Finna grow out of her. I wish the yard sale would just last as long as we were tending the table for. That would really help me out. Alright, switch over time. You can can you paint? No, Nox is painting now. You missed your chance. But you should shower. Um, I always like videos, even if I don't watch the whole thing. It's uh, it's the first thing I do when I click on a video. Ah, it just seems like the, the thing to do, but I also never click on video. I'm not interested. See, I think I should start doing that too. I think I should start out liking a video. And if it ends up being something that I'm like, I don't agree with, I will unlike it afterwards. Not dislike. I don't use the dislike function, but wait a minute. Okay, friend time. Yeah, you can make a friend. But... I always feel weird, like, because, not weird, I'm always like, I make a conscious effort when I'm watching people who are like not a trillion subscribers and stuff like that to hit like, but I also like, I watch everything on a playlist, like I sit down and like, I just watch everything in my subscription feed on a playlist. And then because it auto plays the next one, sometimes I forget to like hit the like button in between, but usually if I can think of something to comment with, then I just hit like and comment at the same time. Oh, you having a hard day <laughs> with all these yard sales. Um, I think you should be yourself because fake may get subs but not keep them. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Unless your subs are teen girls, then you're great being fake. I love that Stop. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the one. It was really easy to download. It was on Tumblr, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think it's when you click download or something easy yeah i think when it comes as a full pack i think i'd be more interested in doing cc stuff i don't know how people can go through every individual cc stuff and like download it and organize it and then figure out which parts are broken i hear a broken appliance that's you Oops. Um, autoplay thing gets you. Sometimes I go back through it to make sure I like them. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. I like a buddy. What's happening? I'm just riding your bike through Evergreen Harbor. Oh, it's like a bike off. Is this shock? Yeah. Okay. One by one kills me. Yeah, see, that's the thing. But there's some cool stuff out there. Is this the same vampire back? Haruto? Nice. Well, thanks for supporting Haruto. Appreciate it. I think I'm almost done now. My cave. I might just saw all this stuff the old fashioned way. Oh, we can afford our bills now. So that's good. Let's do pay bills, and now I can leave. Plantains? Were they expensive? Are they worth it? Let's, um, it's time to propose. Can't travel. Oh, because of the yard sale. My bad, my bad. We got $250. Did you mark up the price? I wasn't paying attention when you started the sale. I marked up the produce by 100%, and then I marked up the paintings only by like 50 or something. But um, do you know, is there a certain amount that they just won't buy them anymore? I wanted like a good balance. Okay, Chevelle, let's try this again. I think I wanna just do it. Like I wanna just do like a quick, hey, hello. And then, oh, oops, I just swept away a notification. I don't know what it was. I want to do like a quick hi, hello, and then I want to go in for the proposal. So there's like an air of like, will she, won't she? 
say yes because I like chaos sometimes. I haven't experienced that personally, but I mark it up by 300 eventually. Some fool will buy it. Okay, well, things are selling pretty slow already, which is why I was worried, but like, I might as well just crank it. So we'll do like the. Let's just talk about equal lifestyle again. That's <laughs> all we ever do. Can't imagine why she keeps ditching us on our dates. Okay, we're back here. We're gonna go here together. Okay, both of you walk up there. Both of you. Javon, you too. Please? Please. Please? Yeah, okay. Good sign. She's coming up. She's ready to get this party started. Yeah, she's coming up. Now, why is it called The Sims for LGB rotational play? Because I only play in this rotation um, every Sunday. I go in rotation of uh, the different families that EA, like Maxis, Maxis built as Sims that like the same gender. So today we're doing the Greenbergs because they're a lesbian couple. Well, I don't know. They're a sapphic couple anyway. One of them or both of them could be like bisexual or something. But um, and then I also play as like Brenton Brandt from I'm just trying to position them in like a good um, Brenton Branch from Cats and Dogs because they're um, two husbands. And then I play as like the other ones too, like the Tinkers and everything. OK, let's just let's just go for it. I want to like, I don't know what I want off in the distance. It's a good angle. Do like the warehouse in the back. Probably like this. OK. I don't even know if he likes her enough to propose now, actually. Ooh. OK, maybe we got to do a little bit more. I love Brent and Brent. Yeah, they're cute, eh? I played them last week. They're like the first in the rotation. Oh, she didn't even want a hug. Yeah, that would be embarrassing. Maybe let's do a little, you know, a bit of a I'm gonna apologize or let's ask about her favorite color. <laughs> I am so sorry, dude. I do not know what's happening. Why is he? Why does he have the worst luck? <laughs> Is she like, is there something with her? Is she non-committal or something? She's like, you're moving too fast, boy. You think that's what it's about? She dislikes the color orange. She dislikes the color yellow. She's self-assured. I don't even know what her preference is for, uh, you know, make a flirtatious joke. She likes painting. Okay, it's nice. Can we ask you what your relationship preference is? Maybe that's the issue. Or is he too smelly today? <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Should we confess attraction? Because she's flirty. That's a good sign. I tend to prefer non-exclusive relationships. Yo, she's not having it. She's flirty and she still is... What the? Siobhan, please. <laughs> please. I love them because of because a Lego YouTuber. There's a Lego YouTuber that does something with Brenton Brandt. I know... I, I just wish she would like, I want to propose and I want her to say no, if that's how it's going to be. Can we do a smooth recovery? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. oh my gosh! <laughs> She's not into it. Do you think that? I don't know. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Do we have to find another? Listen, the clock is running out. Should you just adopt a baby without anyone? Back to Holly then? Is it Holly? I think this is like, I think I need to take the hint now. Like it's not Orkin. But the real question is, do we use the same proposal spot for Holly? Like, maybe she thinks he's not good enough. Ooh. 
H though. <laughs> That's true. I did say if she rejects us, that uh, we'd have Mary set us up with H. Okay, let's see. We're gonna see if H. If he finds H attractive, I will try that. If not, that's it. We're doing single dad, and then we're gonna play with like, we'll see. Maybe like when he's much like much later, he can find somebody. But that was brutal. Um, you need Lumpino's LGBTQ plus mod. Yeah, I actually um I installed it. I got overwhelmed and I uninstalled it. But I wanna I wanna like figure that one out. I have their mod in right now that's like a standalone. So this is included if you have the LGBT mod, but if you don't have it. Um, wait, this is included if you have the mod, or you can get this separately, where like they ask pronouns or they tell each other pronouns um, by Lumpino. So I agree. I do need to figure out that mod and start using it. Okay. I'm so sad that that didn't work out. <laughs> I like honestly, I would have been fine if she rejected the proposal, but I'm not fine that we couldn't even propose. You know. He had his first time with her, he got crabs from her, and then now, it's over. Alright, oh no, it's not you, I think it's, uh, I think Mary's the one that knows H. I don't know, maybe it is, oh no, there he is. I honestly can't even see Nox, because he's so scrawny with this, like, beefed up man, but I just like how... H yeah. looks like a specific type of gay man. I should have stopped the crabs. Is that what the is that what the real flag was to me? Look at you cooking food without lighting the world on fire. Oh, she also wants to blow bubbles. Wait a minute, what? Blow bubbles from being family oriented. Am I thinking about the right bubbles? I thought that was like the bubble blower, but I think she means like that you can have kids. All right. Here he is. Let's do a... Can we do a flirty? Because you're flirty. Do a flirty introduction. Let's just give her. I don't believe for a second the Nox isn't the one that dealt those lice. But he was like, that was his first time. Granted, he is growing bugs at home. Well, actually, I don't think he ever finished that interaction. He's supposed to be growing bugs at home. <laughs> oh, he's tense. Uh -oh. Dag dag. Yo, I don't think people like him. I think there's something. Okay, well, let's figure out a little bit more about this guy. Let's do this. Get to know. Okay. He's a house DJ. We don't have any attraction to him. But maybe I have to do I might have to do scope surroundings. I always forget how this works. Just making lights popcorn, obviously. Ooh. Oh, he's hot headed. Hey, well I like a little bit of drama. In my Sims play, not in my relationships. So <laughs> He hasn't noticed anybody interesting. Okay, he's not attracted to H. So, single dad it is. Now he just needs to make enough money. He is not appreciated. H has learned that Nox's pronouns are he, him. Yeah, that's part of the mod, actually. So they just autonomously did that. Which is fun. Um, let's go, I don't know, farm crickets. Oh wait, does it just, did I do this? Okay, no, now they're officially in there. Ooh, that actually, don't like that. Nurture. This guy has a ton of rings, what does it mean? Right, that's why I was like, this guy looks like he's all like stylish and stuff, I don't know. He seemed cool. I think he's wearing like a Love Day t-shirt too, or a Romance Festival t-shirt. It means he's stylish as hell. Yeah, exactly. He's already making his way up into Nox's bedroom, so... I think he understood the assignment here. Oh no. Are you going up there too? Oh yeah, you are. Alright. 
<laughs> oh, they nuked a... Well fed. Fine. Okay. I don't know what else we're supposed to do with those, but... How are you doing, my guy? Spinach? You're good? Let's get some food. Okay. And then imagine you just like, so this is going to be like a yard sale, right? But like they're raising money for grandchildren, essentially. That's like too much. I can't handle this. Crank this up to, all right, I think we got a 10 table first, then we'll do 300%. <laughs> Wait, is this bomb potato to quit it with a muscle guy? Stop! <laughs> Mary isn't about- well, actually, I said they could do whatever they wanted. Because it's like their last playthrough. Maybe that's what she wanted. Oh, do you want to hang out tonight? We can do that. They have a grandchild jar jar? Oh. Yeah, what are you two doing up here? No clue. Oh, were you gonna do your dishes in there? You sure were. Ah, uh, Jaren! Nice! <laughs> we got two vampires oh. and a spellcaster at our yard sale. <laughs> Clever <-tabors. laughs> <laughs> Batanabe? Zapula. Uh, uh, Bethita Shimagra. <laughs> Grinoi Foibi. Alright. I feel like this is kind of wait. Let me see if somebody buys something. But it seems to have yeah. That was the same as if uh, it was marked lower. So now we got forty eight dollars for whatever that was. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. So we got Katrina. Colts buying grapes. I think they're trying that whole like turning wine into blood. Thing. Water into wine and then wine into blood. This is how that works, right? This vampire keeps showing up in our yard. This deal does he have an ulterior motive? Do you think maybe he is a potential um, suitor for. Uh, I almost said Greg for Knox. Yeah, that's what it is. I should really get going. All right. Thanks for hanging out, H. Sorry my son wasn't interested in you. Oh, you know what, though? Wait. Okay, no. I was gonna say, what if the moms were? But I think they- I think I have them said to only like... What I did for the Sims that are in relationships is I- Oh, she didn't even meet them. I just have them interested, like, all of their attractions are based off of their partner. So I think they might only be interested in women. <laughs> Greg. Greg Greenberg. Greg Gregberg. Wait, Greg, Greg, Greg. <laughs> Maybe they don't want grapes on the table, they just really want Knox's grapes. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Greg occupies my mind at all times, too. It's cause also because I was watching a, I was watching um, Dr. Lu on stream last night, and he was doing like experiments on Greg. Like, see different things you could do with Greg. Oh, nab your bonds. Um, Marcus is back too. Marcus seems to be into the organic produce. See, there they are again. This is the same vampire. Okay, let's see. I don't think we're going to get down here fast enough. Especially because they teleport. But let's see if we can get down here and meet them. Oh. I think they're leaving. Brutal. Maybe uh, next time I'll just make uh, whoever's sitting at the table introduce themselves and then we can catch them that way. Oh wait, they're like off in the- is that the- This is so confusing. <laughs> I just see bats everywhere. He got nervous and batted away. Um, usually you can get good money for craftables, especially with good quality. Oh. This yard sale isn't rags to riches, it's grapes to Greg Nin. 
The term Gregnant is too much. Um, I don't know if it's... Pro oh yeah, no, this isn't supposed to be productive. Don't get me wrong, it's just because I don't want them to be like completely loaded. Because if I really, I think ultimately I should just be going down to Henford and selling this to the people. Especially during the, uh, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The fair days. But I was trying to like, you know, they don't seem like they should be loaded anyway. I want them to like struggle a bit. But it is getting kind of repetitive now, so maybe I'll just, uh, I'll cave. Especially for the grandchild. Let's do it. In the middle of the night. Okay. Uh, did everything go in there? Oh, we don't even have that much produce left, actually. Let's go. I think... Is there anything else to harvest? Yeah, let's see if we can do it. My sims always be struggling to live outside their means. Do you just put them on, like, a big lot? Sometimes I do that too. I just like, even if I have a small house, I just put them on like the biggest lot so it's super expensive to live there. Because I like the struggle. Oh, cute little family. Um, let's go here. She's by herself. Wait, why did she hate Seth? When did that happen? Um, his shirt is the same green as his emotion. That's funny. I love being poor. Wow. You must really love capitalism, eh, Lucy? Yeah, I don't know what to do when my sims have money. Okay. We're here. Grey Gaze Club gathering has started. What? It's not even what I had in mind. We're just here to sell some produce. Oh, wait, no, it's closed. What am I doing? It's 1 a.m. Wow, you can tell I have not... Uh, oh, wait. You stay. No. Let's both go. Awkward. But I do want to find out the... What is the drama here? Why do you hate each other? What happened? You're supposed to be nice. Huh. Ask about day. You're supposed to be buddies. What even happened? Capitalism. Um... I see Derek and Ian are doing well. That's good, at least. This person with the cute hair who always shows up is also here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. I don't know how to start out a gameplay without rags to riches, so I've been trying to force myself lately. Actually, keeping the 20,000 we start with just seems too un unrealistic. Yeah, it's not bad if you're doing like adults and then like, I don't know, one generation, but then the next generation has to move out and do their own thing. Wow, that's fashion. Alright, let's just, uh, I'm gonna go home. That was my bad. We'll be back. We'll be back to sell some produce. Also, I've gotten back into playing Stardew Valley again, because one of my friends agreed to do a, a joint farm together. And like, man, I miss this game so much. It's all I can think about. I'm like that with video games. Like between The Sims and Stardew, I get very like I don't know, I just like want to play them non-stop for like a month and then never pick them up again. Uh -huh. Let's bring Mary here. Sleep. And you as well, Blossom. Sleep. Um, are you more right or left wing? Well, <laughs> I'm trans, so left wing for sure. Cause I like to have human rights, so there's that. <laughs> um, I've never really done a rags to riches. I've never like I don't think I do the riches part right. Even like that that transgender challenge that I have for videos, I'm like we got to riches technically because we did the aspiration that was filthy wealthy, but like he doesn't have a mansion or anything, and I would never want one because I don't know how to furnish them properly or make them so I like them. Are you awake? Stop studying plants and go sleep. Uh, I live and breathe rags to riches. 
Draven, do you go, do you do the riches like proper riches though? Like, are they like Judith Ward by the end of it? Like big mansion and like top of their career sort of thing? Oh, Siobhan, what's up? Hey, we talked about non-exclusive relationships recently and that gave me the courage to ask you, could we have a non-exclusive relationship? Siobhan wants to see other people. Should we stay with Siobhan? Okay, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm on board. Should we stay with Siobhan and date around? Or should we just call it quits? Actually, I don't even know what he prefers. Oh, he prefers non-exclusive relationships too. Why am I worried then? But I guess it's official we're not going to be getting engaged. Like, at the signs. Obviously, you can still be non-exclusive and engaged, but that doesn't seem like it's uh, it's going, going well for me. Oh, yeah, it's his first day of work. Nice. Okay, that's great. So there's going to be money there. And we're going to sell this produce. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's the whole plan. And then hopefully we'll have enough to get this kid. And then we can have some cute grandma interactions. And then that's it. I had some where they uh, that were making 200k what or more a day by the end of it, and some that just became middle class and left it at that. When you say making 200k a day, is that for? Oh no, go to your work. Oh wait, no, it's just Siobhan. <laughs> What's up, Knox? Thank you for suggesting I hang out with Peyton. Okay, so I thought that was the boss calling, but let's uh yeah, you can wake up now anyway. Spinach is looking a little bit nasty. <laughs> Mortimer's walking by carrying a book. That's cute. Let's clean and feed. And we can clean this. Yeah, I think riches is the point you're content, I'd say. Alright, okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, you are doing the farming. I know that you do farming in some of your Let's Plays on, uh, on, um, oh my god, I forgot the word YouTube just there. <laughs> Live on YouTube forgets what YouTube is. Let's have him, maybe he can meet some friends at work, too. Whoa. Hi, cool builder in Build World Banana. How are you doing? Okay, um, let's get this. Did you get all the produce? No. Oh, Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Nox has met Bess while at work. Oh yeah, originally the romantic partnership stuff was between Bess and Jody at the very beginning. Um, Nox is doing an audit of some community space project voting patterns and discovers that votes for recently enacted project were incorrectly counted. Will the public be angry about the community garden instead of a marketplace or will they not care? Cover it up. Let's confess, I guess. Performance loss small. Dang it. Um, Nox's boss gives them a stern telling off. Essex. Okay, well, let's go to Henford and sell the stiff. We could actually, let's do, let's actually make it a gathering on purpose this time. Yumbala. I still can't believe that Blossom and Seth have a have bad blood together. It's so weird to see what relationships change in between the weeks that I'm not playing as these Sims. I really want an ant farms for kids as a pet option. <laughs> but I hate looking at those crickets. Yeah, they look really nasty, eh? I agree though, an ant farm would be really fun. Okay. Now, let's head over here. 
Oh wait, Hegel. We want to Hegel first. Hey, Kim, buddy, old pal. Actually, I think she's friends with the other one. I think the other one. So <laughs> I refer to my gay couples now. Yeah, I think her and. So maybe we should try that instead. Mary, please haggle for us. Blossom, Blossom, what are you doing? Okay. She was just a little slow there on stopping. So let's pass all this over. So much stuff, oh my gosh. We almost sold out of green beans, though, or are these soybeans? Yeah, green peas, my mistake. We almost sold out of green peas, though. I guess they were moving pretty fast at the yard sales. And mushrooms. Watch me do all this, and then she's going to reject the haggling. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't wait. Um, you drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off anything on this table. Okay. Let's do some selling. So, I'm gonna sell this basil. Berries, grapes. Wait, midnight tree, what's this? Animals that eat this will produce obsidian milk and black wool. Well, is that you get the evil chickens? Yo, you know what? I'm gonna keep this and then let's try and give it while we're hanging with the gray gaze. Let's give it to um, Derek and he can use it on one of the chickens when we play that rotation. If I remember. I should remember though. Okay. And 1,344. We have enough for a kid. And Derek, my guy, we got a little gift for you. What? Friendly introduction? How many times do I need to introduce these sims? I guess it's better than so them becoming so. enemies like it did with the other sim, but... Ah, so so. Discuss interests. Just give him the gift. So, friendly gifts. Whoa, Blossom, we looking freaky over there. Um, where is it? Midnight treat. Midnight treat. Derek does seem like the antisocial of the two. Yeah, that's how I play them too. Like, she's just really out here trying to read and write and learn about vampires. Meanwhile, his husband's becoming best friends with everybody in Henford. <laughs> see if he even likes those, actually. Whoa! I see something do it. Nice. Okay, that worked. Um, who's getting custody of the chickens uh, and spinach when the gray gaze pass? So, Nox is keeping spinach. No questions asked. I actually made a decision. Since you asked, I will tell you now. I was just waiting for this stream with um, Derek and Ian, but I actually am kind of... We learned on the last stream, because we looked it up, that if Derek and Ian pass away, while we're not playing as them, or even if we're playing as them, it just deletes their dogs. <laughs> you can't even like adopt them by from another family or anything like that. Um, so my solution to that is I actually moved in another sim with them. Um, maybe I'll keep it as like a surprise for when we get to their stream about who it is. But I moved in like one of the pre-made sims, just like as a roommate for now, and I'm not going to play as them or anything like that. So that way, the dogs and chickens and everything will stay there. And then when they pass away, we can figure out who's taking Tofu and Mudget, which are the dogs, and who's taking the chickens. Um, but I'm thinking, like, if we end up... I don't know. I feel like it's going to be Nox. I feel like Nox is going to take the chickens and then the dogs. If I end up playing Rami, I can maybe shoot a dog the dogs. I can see him and Ian sitting down like, oh, oh, Mary invited us to dinner and Derek being like, who? <laughs> Ian is like, really? That woman you've met multiple times and have been in your house? Yeah, definitely. I can see that too. Oh, here's our double plaid guy too. Oh, I love this. 
I love it when The Sims just gives you some like extra extra special downies like that. Um, y'all need to have some fun though. You know, maybe we can go do like karaoke or something. Actually, only you have to have fun. Let's do it. The karaoke could be good. Big night in the city. What's that? This one. Yeah, even bring the dude you hate. That's fine. Derek's not even on here as an option. <laughs> yeah, Derek is definitely the antisocial one out of the two. And then Nox, when Nox is home, we'll adopt the kid. What age group do we think the Nox should have? I want to, I kind of want to do baby. But the thing is, their house is like such a bad layout for a toddler that maybe skipping to a kid could be good. Ah, oh my oh, gosh, Brittany, for the love of. Okay, yeah, let's do a little duet. I mean, you know what? I feel like she would do a duet with, uh, yeah. I feel like Ian and her would sing together, more likely. <laughs> Oh, Derek came anyway. That's good. Oh, and Jody showed up too. Jody and Brittany showed up together. Interesting. Brittany, for real? Can you not just find your own room? Okay, great. Everybody's coming to pass out here. Aw, Derek came to watch his husband. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> He's done. It's like, that's enough socializing for now. What else is singing? Erica? Alright. Wait, is this the... This isn't the vampire, is it? I think they had a very similar name to that. But they had a different outfit. Oh, Haruto. Okay, okay, okay. That's what it was. Oh my gosh, these sins are looking a mess right now. Oh my gosh, please do not spend money. What are you doing? What? Why did you just buy a twenty-one dollar drink? <laughs> uh. This is Akira. Nice. I think I've finally forgiven Akira for his uh, for what he did in the Let's Play, that, and I think now I see him as like a regular sim. So I'm fine with him being around now. He was pretty good there. Oh my gosh, I thought this was Brent Hecking. <laughs> That's funny. Oh! Jody here talking to Nox's mom, eh? Interesting, interesting. I think he's like, I don't know, he's trying to weasel his way back in, I think. Awkward encounter, no kidding, eh? Oh my gosh, this... The knockoff Brent in there is sounding pretty rough. They're just gonna put up the walls. Also, I never noticed this was like open over here. Hmm. It's fun. Jody needs to stop. I'll be right back. I need to make a fresh pot of coffee. Good luck this time. I hope it turns out okay now. Yo, also this person's styling. What an impressive outfit. And all the piercings too. Nice. Jody's like, oh, I hear you two are setting Nox up with uh, people. I heard that from H. You uh, 
Wouldn't it be so funny if like me and Nox ended up together though? Maybe you tell him that? Hey, maybe? <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> okay, I'll switch to Nox. And bless Draven's second bottle of coffee. Yes, everybody take a moment and bless Draven's coffee. She really needs it. Oh, my wrist is getting sore. All right, let's pick a kid. It's time. Guess who's grilling? See, this is it. this is all along. He was just trying to prepare for the life of being a dad. He's been trying to like get better at barbecuing. He's been trying to up his handiness skill with all the broken appliances here. He's really just trying to step up. Maybe he was practicing his dad jokes on Siobhan, and that's why she was having none of it. Who knows? Here, you just eat that, and then I'm gonna have you do a shower too, because I don't want you to be smelly when you meet your kid. And then we can send you to get your... Uh, oh my gosh. Jody, fine. You want to hang out? You want to you wanna hang out? <laughs> you can come over. We'll see. We're going to get a kid and Jody's going to leave immediately. He's going to be like, oh, never mind. Uh, man, Jody is in the plot of their own Hallmark movie. Date the celebrity or the humble, dorky eco guy. Seriously. Oh. Tina fabricated us something. Let's do it. Oh, Jody is like, I can change. It's okay, Jody. You don't have to change. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just not perfect for Nox, so. Umbraza? Huh? Yes. <laughs> Observe the skies. All right. Tia, what's up? Your gift wasn't for Nox, was it? I think it may have been for one of the women. Okay. Well, enough wasted time. Let's uh, hire a service. Oh my gosh, I thought these were feet. That was so freaky. Okay, adopt a child. Let's go. Mm. This is looking really suspicious. Uh. Oh no. I'm kind of conf I've never seen this before. And as you know, I've adopted at least three kids with Brenton Brands recently. You know what to do? Let me just, uh, what if I click around on some other stuff and I come back to the Sims? No? <laughs> um... <laughs> Nox is getting screwed over by every facet of his life right now. I don't even remember when the last time I saved was. Which is always a really, really great feeling when this occurs. Um, I find sometimes if you try to close the game, it'll make the do you want to save feature. I think I just did X. I think I may actually have to close out of the entire program. It's, it, what annoys me is like, can you see the shimmering of his plumb bob right now? It's like, it's still going. But like, it's the only thing that's moving right now. Yeah, I think I gotta call it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. It's painful. Oh wait. <gasps> Morning, do you know the last few exit? Do you want to exit? No. I don't. 
It's just the adoption, eh? Hmm. So what usually, okay, so all that pops up is that I can't save. So does that mean I still just gotta like quit? Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Data may be lost if you exit. Do you want to exit anyway? I don't want to exit, but I want the game to work. That's my problem. I'm not just doing this for fun. Well, I'm playing the game for fun. Oh no, it happened often to me. Ah, does it? So there's no way to get out of this, eh? Okay, I'm just gonna close the window. We're doing it. Uh, it like pains me to see like look at the buildings are now loading, but like. Oh, wow, okay, 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 I'm gonna load back in, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna get the kid, I don't know where we left off, but I'm just gonna get a kid, and then like, that's, that's it for me, folks, <laughs> I tried real hard, uh, maybe it's a bad thing, but I closed my computer. I can't close or like completely turn your computer off. Yeah, I can't do that while on stream though. So it'd be gone, gone. Let me just. Uh... I'm just loading in back into the game now. Oh, yeah, you can see it on the screen. Um, so it's gonna load back in. We're gonna adopt a kid, and then I'll call it there. Knox Greenberg missed you. Well, listen, it wasn't by choice that I left him. Just do a zoom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have to decide if we want a baby, a child, or a toddler. And then from there, which one we want, so... I'm thinking baby. And I'm thinking baby because I would like him to, like, get up some of his, uh... His, um, parenting skill. Off the bat. And then maybe for the next ones. Like, the next kids. We can do whatever age group for adopting. But uh, we're definitely going to name the kid Phoenix, though. So at least we have that ready. And poor Nox in his effed up life. Seriously, I'm kind of like concerned now that my adoption is broken. <laughs> Big sad faces, yes. Um, nothing, nothing worked out for him this entire stream. Like, <laughs> he had his first woohoo, though. That's it. All he got out of this was his first woohoo. And it's his last stream with his moms. <laughs> Sad ending of Pride Month. Audrey, that's funny. And crabs. No, Eric. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where we're at. We were doing a yard sale, though. Oh, I don't even think he's met H then. I think it was like before he met. Yeah, so it was like right when I was trying to get him to meet H. Well, we already know how that ends. Um. I don't know what else. Is he in an exclusive or non-exclusive relationship with Siobhan then? No, I don't. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so that hasn't happened yet. Oh, no be. What else has happened? I don't know what other landmark, not landmarkers, like life milestones, I guess. Oh, and she still has her close knit thing. Okay. Yeah, so we lost a little bit of time here. I'm. This person is looking pretty cool, too. Something about jewelry on The Sims just makes them look a lot way fancier. But, um, okay, it's 5 a.m. We're going to clear the table. We're going to go sell this. And then we're going to we're gonna um, get our grandkid. Okay, what's happening otherwise? Harvest all. And you, what's up with you? You don't got anything in your inventory? You got walleye i'm not really sure why but maybe kim will want to buy that 
And yeah, okay. Let's do... Uh, I'm not even gonna let you shower. I'm not messing around this time. Oh, it's only 6 a.m. Let's do... I'm just gonna do that there. I think we left off on Thursday. Okay, so we lost two days. That does sound right, Eric. Let's go. Um, he got an STD. <laughs> His parents are dying. He can't marry anyone. The adoption agency threw fists. <laughs> Truly love losses. <laughs> love loses this Pride Month. It was all a dream, like a bad TV show. The worst part is that I started this stream and then for 30 minutes, after 30 minutes of playing, my power went out and I lost everything. And now the game froze and I lost everything again. Granted, the first 30 minutes wasn't as much, so. I'm back. Yo, Dreamin, I think like everything from when you were gone just reset itself because my game froze. So really, you didn't miss anything at this point. Uh, I'm back. Turns out I could still hear the stream from my kitchen, so it's like I never left. This cup is a bit better, but I'm not using uh, I'm not using to make a pot of espresso like I would regular coffee. All right, cool. I'm glad it's a bit better. Um, things have been rough today, my friend, <laughs> for you and Knox, for your coffee and Knox. Um, who thinks Clinton? All right, I hate crashes. Yeah, I don't. Honestly, it doesn't happen often to me. And like usually when it does happen, I just gotta like ride it out, close some things in the background, and then when like we're good to go again. But uh, today's the day. Kim, Kim, listen, I need you to go. I need you to go start working. I don't know what you're doing. You're clapping about Ian. But if you could just like turn right around, she still wants to buy a basketball hoop. <laughs> And I never locked it in. I think I really need to like buy the kid and a basketball hoop. Well, let's see, this is open at 9, right? How was our operation? 9 a.m. Okay. So Kim's got to be circling back here at some point. Ah, right, there she is. Hello, Kimberly. Quimbo and Sula. Dimash That's oh, wrong. Wadida Apidola. Haggle. Wadida Afrosh. Yeah, I used to only get crashes when in certain neighborhoods because of the graphics, I guess. But since I got my new graphics card, I, I never really get them. But when I do, I hate it. Yeah. I feel that. And yeah, maybe loading the crane at the same time as a child was just too much for the game. <laughs> okay, that seems to have worked again, which is great. Let's sell all this. I think we might have less stuff to sell. We lost a couple days, but maybe not, because I haven't been real great about actually making sure that we're getting all the produce. Granted, we might have more because we sold less in uh, the... What do you call those? Yard sales. Raspberry, sage, small mushroom, small pumpkin, spicy mushroom, and a walleye. 1331 Okay, so I think that's like $40 less or something? I don't know. I don't remember numbers very easily, so. And same thing again. We're gonna give Derek... Let's give him a respectful introduction. <laughs> I don't usually get them when I do... And file is dead. Yeah, if I lose like four hours of gameplay, I don't go back and play. Ask to stop using birth control. Why is that a nice interaction with somebody? It's really funny. Give gifts. Friendly gifts. Midnight treat. Where are you at, though? There. The stream has been a solid reminder to myself to save generously. And you know what? I only say I saved this game a couple times while I've been playing, and only because my power went out earlier. So if this was like a regular thing, I wouldn't have even saved the entire time. <laughs> All right, cool. That's it, right? Oh, and I guess Knox didn't have his first day of work. 
and Jody's been a little bit less ridiculous now. So we just kind of skipped over those parts. It's not too bad. So now we'll pick a baby. And... Do you have MCC? No, I don't. But you know what? I'm actually I'm looking into getting it now because um, Emily... It's not here right now, but the Emily that's like always in the streams, she's just on a different time zone. Um, she actually gave me the uh, the settings file for hers um, because I never use MCC because of the way that it's set up. Because um, I don't want to go through all the settings, so she gave me one so I can start using it. Um, I just need to practice it off stream before I start using it on stream for like my own comfort, so I don't ruin some save files. Also, how is spinach just green forever now? Or is it just until we shear him? Because I kind of want him to just stay green. Oh, there's an option for autosave. Oh, that's smart. I should do that. I might give it a shot when I get my new computer here. Oh, the crickets are gone. I'm kind of surprised about that. I thought that... Oh. And there it is. Peyton and I were planning to spend some casual friend time. It's interesting that it generates the same person for her to ask to hang out with. He's green until you shear him. Okay, so we're never going to shear spinach, ever. Because he obviously needs to stay green for his name. Also, how are you doing in here? Green. Oh. Hello? But no. Attention okay, happiness fine. Alright, well. I am. Did I already save? I'm like paranoid saving again. Either way. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna go, we're gonna get a baby. Okay. Alright, game. We're good. Okay, I feel like he was talking to a plant when it froze last time. So I don't want him to do that. Can you just like, I don't know. Just walk over here. It's the only interaction you need to be having right now. Hire a service. Adopt a child. Okay, you ready? Okay, the pop-up's happening. I think we're good. So, oh my gosh, these kids are so cute. The thing is, the babies aren't cute to me, but the toddlers, like, oh my god, look at William's shirt. William looks like they would be a green fiend too. Oh my god, look at this little nerd. So cute. Oh. Um, I don't know. Here, we just hey Google, pick a number between one and four. One. All right, Elena, your new name is Phoenix. <laughs> Sorry about that, but. William looks a little like Knox, right? I think that would have been a good choice, but we're not doing a toddler. We're starting with a baby. Susie Simmer, hey, how's it going? Uh -huh. My game has now crashed twice during this stream, but we're getting Knox a baby. That's exciting. We're gonna get some good grandma action going in. You <laughs> drinking the cuckoo in my home. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let me know what your number was, though. <laughs> um, okay, Phoenix. Cute. The orphanage would like to introduce Phoenix Greenberg. Nice. All right, where are we at? Oh my gosh, I just kind of freaked out a little bit because I have a fan, but I have it like really far away so that it wouldn't be too loud on my mic. But it's, it's like, it still hits me, but it just hit my like leg hair and then it moved. And then I was thinking about the crickets that we have in this game. And I was so conf like, I was so convinced that there was a big bug on my leg. And I was like, all right, dude, just play it cool. <laughs> just like, don't act like it's a big deal. There's a huge bug crawling on your leg right now. Um, but it was in fact just the wind. So we good, we good. 
<laughs> Let Phoenix be a symbol of rebirth for Nox, please. He's been through so much this stream. Seriously, we're rising from the ashes. Yabdo. Get in there, Nubu. Oh, yo, you know what I never do, though? I never, and I always forget, to buy a onesie <laughs> okay. on Plopsy. So let's do that. What do we got? What? There's no onesies? Come on. I feel like one of the grandmas would also like knit them, but like we don't got that much time, you know? Uh, they couldn't answer. I had no Wi-Fi connected. Aw, dang it. <laughs> All those parents are out and they come home to a grandchild surprise and they funded the grandchild, so they kind of knew. Um, but also, I don't think this is going to fit in his tower, the bassinet. So we can either put the baby in the greenhouse, which I feel like might be a little bit warm. Or the roof, uh, or you can try and get rid of this like bookshelf thing and cram the baby up there. But every time it cries, somebody has to go up and down this ladder. So I think we're staying in Grandma's room for now. I just want to like position her. So well, I guess I don't know the pronouns. I'm just gonna position them so that I don't know. Maybe they're not right in blocking the bed. This is when I feel like I need to turn move objects off, though. Because I don't know how this is going to impact. I'm going to just delete one of these plants. You got two of them. Let's put the baby right by the window. There you go. The curtains going in your crib and everything. Okay, I'm gonna save so we don't lose Phoenix. <laughs> so laggy, yeah, it's 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 rough. Um, I never had much desire to play with knitting, but I also, uh, but I always though you had to knit the baby. You always thought you had to knit the baby onesies. I didn't know you could just buy them. Yeah, I I've never not seen them on Plopsy. Like I just did not see them there. So I guess it like refreshes and they're either there or they're not there. So. Um. But yeah, let me uh, I don't know, interact with your kids some more. <laughs> like the professional boyfriend streams have changed my image of Caleb. This one has solidified Knox as the most pathetic, pitiful man I have ever seen. Kind of makes me want to romance him. Stop it. Don't pity woohoo him. <laughs> Yo, also, I agree, Draven. This this cow plant picture is pretty sick. Um, all right, can we introduce you to like your new grandchild? Is that an interaction in this one? Like show off to you, right? Show off to. You. Like look, look what I got. Oh, she can't get in. Is it the we're rearranging their entire house? It revolved around this baby, obviously. Cast at it again. Also, he has a poor relationship with his parents now because of their rotational play. Oh, what? Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever, Mary. Just get in here. Come do cute grandma stuff. It's kind of hard because, you know, babies are an object and all. Oh, they have to be behind the bassinet? Okay, well... <laughs> I don't know, we can either move the bassinet outside, or... <laughs> Blossom does not even care. She's like, new grandchild who... I'ma just take a little nap, though. Oh my gosh, okay. I think, we're, I, think I just glitched them by doing this. Reset, yeah. This... I think this stream is cursed. <laughs> Here, come to your grandkid. Ah. There you go. So, so, Nubu. Aww. I mean, the baby looks a little bit horrifying, but... Blossom looks cute. She's exhausted from selling grapes. 
It's true. I've really been putting them to work. Okay, don't know who that was. Okay, you too. Come and meet your grandkid. You feel like you'd be like a... Maybe a make silly faces grandma. Oh, but also you gotta be a change his dirty diaper grandma right now. Oh, so so new boo. Oh yeah, definitely. Your sun hat is in like so, the way so much for these photos though, so I'm gonna have to Oh, you don't have a roof on your house. Cute. A little bit unhinged, but also cute. While Nox is out here talking to plants. I don't know how this, this kid's gonna grow up with Nox. Like, I feel like he's gonna be a very interesting dad. All right. I think that's it. I'm just gonna check on the neighborhood stories. Oops, I always do action plans. That's not what I want. Now look who's walking by. This man. I think they're gonna end up together. You know, I think I'm like, I think eventually both Mia and Nox are gonna cave and they're gonna end up together. There's been nothing happening in the neighborhood this stream. Katarina Lynx in the Lynx Hotel has died? <gasps> From a cow plant? Oh no. That means all of her cats disappeared. That sucks. Okay, let's go. I want to check. I think because I don't think she had kids. Uh, what time will this end? I'm actually ending. I'm going to end the stream now. I'm just going to look around in the neighborhood um, right now just to see kind of like what's been happening. But um, that's this is it for the gameplay. So if you're just here with the gameplay, then thanks for hanging out. It's a nice stream and I'll catch you all um, either tomorrow if we if you follow me on Twitch, because I'm going to be streaming the drag queen creation that I'm doing. Um, or otherwise, I'll catch you on the next LGB stream, which is not going to be next Sunday, so I'm going to have to like reschedule it to a different time. It's, uh, it's a long weekend for me next weekend because it's Canada Day, so I have some weekend plans. Um, but what was I doing? I want to see what's happening with Katarina. Oh, she's just gone, and the cats are gone. Okay, I need to go. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. It's nice, uh, nice chatting with you. Um, I'm so sad. Well, I guess that's how life goes. And let's see what else is happening. Um, yeah, I will be doing so tomorrow on Twitch. I will be doing a drag makeover for Johnny Zest. I hope. Wait, let me double check that these Sims are still alive. Which sounds morbid, but... Okay, yeah, Johnny's still alive. So we're gonna do Johnny, um, Morgan Ember, and then I also wanted to do... Eco? Wow, the my game is very slow today. Oh, that's Pizzazz. Pizzazz also sounds like a drag name, though. So, are you still here? Caleb. <laughs> Yo, Caleb would be kind of fun. I don't know if I want to add that into the... Or we can also do Nox. Um, that could be fun. I don't know if I want to add that into his... Well, maybe, because all we're doing is dating, and if he's out of the club, he can meet people. That's a good idea, Audrey. We should do that. Um, wow, it will not load. 
Okay, well, I'll have to find out tomorrow if Miko's still alive. <laughs> Hopefully neighborhood stories didn't finish them off. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out, especially through all my technical issues with the game crashing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I appreciate getting to chat with you all. And I'll see you all either tomorrow on Twitch or in the future with another stream. Or here. Nox's Drake name could be Mama Bird. Stop. <laughs> yeah, have a good day, everyone. Bye.